Hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? No, it's really expensive. How much is it? The original price is over $200. We could buy it from a former student. We could also buy the used version. That is a great idea. I will give you the website to buy used books. Thank you so much. No problem at all. When are you going to register for classes? My registration date is next month. That is terrible. Yeah, it is very late. Mine is next week. Why is your date so early? I am a student athlete. Maybe I should play a sport. Soccer tryouts are tomorrow. I don't like soccer. Would you rather have a late registration date? I actually would. How many classes did you manage to get? I only got two. I only got one. There are too many full classes at this college. I never get the classes I need. Have you tried asking the professor for a spot? That doesn't work all the time. At this point, we will graduate in 10 years. That is so early. What are you talking about? I think we will graduate in 15 years. You are funny. Are you excited for the first day of school? No, I'm very afraid. What is to be afraid of? I am afraid of the teacher. But you haven't even met her yet. I have heard bad things about her. What bad things? I heard that she doesn't let anyone laugh. That is ridiculous. The older kids told me that. They are just trying to scare you. Oh, really? Thank goodness. I have never seen you before. I am a new student. Where are you from? I am from Japan. I love Japan. What do you love about it? I love the food, the culture, and the location. I could show you around someday. That would be so fun. But first, can you show me around here? It would be my pleasure. Let's start after school. Did you finish the math project? I have not started. But it's due tomorrow. I thought it was due next week. Do you even pay attention in class? I guess not. Do you know where to start? Not at all. I can help you. That would be awesome. I'll help you at my house tonight. I'll be there. Did you bring the pie chart for our presentation? You're going to be mad. What did you do? I forgot the pie chart. How could you forget? I am so sorry. Where is it? It is at home. Are your parents at home? My mom is at home. Ask her to drop it off. I will call her right now. I am doing poorly in my history class. What is your grade? I have an F. You need to do well on the final exam. I am planning to study. That did not work all the times before. What do you think I should do then? Look at the smart person's test answers. But that is cheating. What other choice do you have? I would rather fail the class than cheat. You're a good student. I have a book report. What book are you doing it on? I have to read To Kill a Mockingbird. That is an excellent book. That is good to know. Do you have the book yet? I am planning to get it soon. You should borrow it from the library. What is the library? You have never heard of the library? I have never heard of it. At the library, you can borrow books for free. I'm planning to put gum in Miss Miller's hair. Why would you do such a thing? Because Miss Miller gives too much homework. She is so nice, though. 
I do not care. You might get suspended. What does that mean? It means you have to leave school for a while. That's the punishment? Yes. It is worse than detention. Suspension sounds like a vacation to me. Say that to your parents. I have five classes and 40 hours of work weekly. Your life is so stressful. Sadly, it is. I am only taking two classes. Do you have work? I am too lazy to work. Don't you want money, though? My parents are rich. My parents are poor. I'm sorry to hear that. They're poor, but honest, good people. Good for you. I am so hungry. I am hungry, too. How many more minutes until lunch? Thirty more minutes. That is too long. I know. I hear your stomach growling. Do you have any food in your backpack? I have a bag of chips. Can I have some? Maybe next time. Wait, why not now? Because I'm going to eat the chips. Do you live in the dorms? Yes, I do. What do you like about it? I get to see my friends almost all the time. What else? I don't have to see my parents. How much does it cost to dorm? It is very expensive. Tell me exactly how much. You're going to faint after I tell you. Just tell me. It costs $15,000 per year. I wish I was a cheerleader. Why do you want to be one? Cheerleaders are popular. Popularity is not important. If you're popular, everyone knows you. I think you have been watching too many movies. No, I have not. You can be popular in other ways. What other ways? You could just be nice to people. That is so hard. This is why you are not popular. The lunch menu is so bad today. What is the cafeteria serving? Leftover meatloaf and Brussels sprouts. That is disgusting. I'm thinking of buying something from the vending machine. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What's wrong with the vending machine? It steals your money. Vending machines can't steal. Yesterday, I inserted a dollar and no food came out. I think I'll just go to the cafeteria. Meatloaf and Brussels sprouts sounds good right now, right? I am so nervous for the class presentation. Don't be. You're so smart. I know, but I don't like big audience. Do you want my advice? Of course I do. Imagine the audience in their underwear. That is insane. It really works. Have you tried it? Yes. I got an A on my presentation. I'll try it then. You can do it. Tomorrow is show and tell. Yeah, I know. I am bringing my new purse for show and tell. Purses are boring. No, they're not. Well, I'm bringing my dog. You can't bring dogs to school. No one has to know until tomorrow. You are going to get into so much trouble. But I'll be the coolest kid in school. You won't be saying that in jail. I am not falling for that. Did you get a partner for the geometry project? I am still looking around. Do you want me to be your partner? I am sorry, but I do not. What is wrong with me? You're known as someone who is very lazy. That is so not true. Well, it's what I heard from our classmates. You can't always trust people. You do make a good point. Give me a chance, and I won't let you down. Okay, I trust you. Mom, can you buy me a laptop? You are only 13. Everyone in school has one. They must be rich then. I really need it. What do you need it for? I want to bring it to school for homework. Aren't there computers at school? They are way too slow. 
Back in my day, there were no computers. I hate it when you say that. I hate it when you ask for things. Excuse me, aren't you in my math class? Yes, I think I am. Could I please borrow your notes? Sure, but please hurry with them. I will. I only want to look over them. We went over some of the new material yesterday. Was it very difficult? It was not too different from what we learned. Did the teacher mention the test? The test will be next week. Thank you for your help. Sure. Good luck studying. Excuse me, where can I find a dictionary? What kind of dictionary would you like? A bilingual dictionary would be nice. Well, there are many printed dictionaries. Is there one you'd recommend? Personally, I like the digital dictionaries. Do you sell those here? Yes. They're like mini computers. They are much more expensive, aren't they? Unfortunately, they can be expensive. I think I'll stick with the printed version. Either way, I'm sure it will be very useful. Give me your lunch money. Stop it, or you will be sorry. Are you arguing with me? I'm tired of you taking my money. I'm going to give you one last chance. Are you going to hit me? I'm going to hit you hard. I'll just tell the principal. You are lying. Just hit me now, and you'll see I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I'll leave you alone. I can't wait for spring to come. What is so special about the spring? The weather is warm in the spring. It is also warm in the summer. There are mosquitoes in the summer. There are no mosquitoes in the fall. But fall isn't warm like summer is. And winter is even colder. That's why I think spring is the perfect season. I think I prefer the summer. What about the mosquitoes? I'll wear bug repellent. I won't be in town this weekend. Neither will I. I'm going on a camping trip. What are you doing? I will be visiting my grandma. I think camping will be more fun. Why don't you take me with you? I don't think your parents will allow it. You are probably right. I want to go. I'll bring you back a souvenir. I don't want it. I want to go too. You can't always get what you want. I hope you get eaten by a bear. Mom, are there animals in the forest? Yes, there are many different kinds. Then why haven't we seen any? They are probably hiding. Why are they hiding? Animals are afraid of people. Maybe if we hold still, they will come out. Why is that? They will think we are trees. I think they will know we're not trees. Can we try it and see? No, dear. Let's keep walking. I would like to have a garden. Planting a garden is a lot of work. But then you grow beautiful flowers. Plastic flowers don't die, and they are also beautiful. Plastic flowers don't have a scent. You can spray them with perfume. Perfume doesn't really smell like flowers. It does if you buy the right kind. It is expensive to buy perfume and plastic flowers. I suppose you are right. Will you help me plant my garden? I don't think I have any other choice. Why are you spraying pesticides? To kill the insects in the garden. Not all insects are bad. They are ruining my vegetables. You should buy the right kind of poison. What do you mean? Some poisons kill bees. That's all right. Bees sting people. Without bees, your garden will not have fruit. Why is that? Bees pollinate the flowers so fruit can grow. Help me pick out a pesticide that is safe for bees. 
Have you ever heard of Poison Ivy? Isn't that a supervillain? I wouldn't know. Tell me more. I once read about Poison Ivy in a comic book. Oh no, that's not what I'm talking about. Then what did you mean? I was talking about the plant. Is it the one that makes you itch? Yes, I fell into a patch of it. Did you wash it off? Yes, but it still itches. The poison ivy I think of is better than the poison ivy. I want to take off my shirt. Why would you want to do that? My shoulders hurt from yesterday. What happened yesterday? I went to the beach. Are you sore from swimming? No, I didn't go swimming. Then what happened? I fell asleep without a shirt on. Then you must have bad sunburn. I do. My shirt makes it worse. It's too bad we're in school. Aren't waterfalls beautiful? I think they're terrifying. Why do they scare you? People fall off them all the time. Do they live? Of course not. As long as you don't swim in them, you're safe. They are still dangerous. People are the ones who make the danger. I suppose you're right. Do you still think they're terrifying? A little, but they're beautiful too. The forecast said it would rain tomorrow. Why do you sound so excited? We have a big PE test tomorrow. I didn't know that. We have to run ten kilometers. I think that is next week. Then what are we doing tomorrow? I think we will be playing street hockey. Hockey is my favorite sport. Too bad it may rain. I hope it doesn't rain after all. You've changed your mind very quickly. Does it snow in your hometown? Sometimes, when it's very cold. I've never seen snow. What is it like? Sometimes it's white, fluffy, and looks like clouds. That sounds so romantic. Other times, it is wet and slushy. Can you use it to make snowballs? Only the fluffy snow. Why not the slushy snow? Those snowballs would hurt. I thought that all snowballs hurt. No, if you use freshly fallen snow. That cloud looks like a horse. No, it doesn't. It looks like a cloud. You're supposed to use your imagination. It still looks like a cloud. Try to see another shape in it. All right. Let's look at a different cloud. I think that one looks like a hippo. I don't see a hippo. What do you see then? I see a cloud. I told you to use your imagination. In that case, I see a cotton ball. Which is the lightning, and which is the thunder? Lightning lights up the sky. What about the thunder? Thunder makes the big booming noise. I thought they both made noise. No. Only thunder makes noise. Can people be hit by thunder? No, people can only be hit by lightning. Do you think they get magical powers? That is impossible. Such things happen in movies all the time. You watch too much television. Put the rock back where you found it. But I like the rock, mommy. So do the animals that live here. The animals have many rocks. I just want one. But animals need the rocks, and you don't. What do they need them for? Some animals make their homes with rocks. Very small animals. Yes, you might be taking someone's ceiling. I don't want to ruin their homes. Good. Please put it back. I'll go leave it where I found it. What was that sound? What sound? It sounded like a whistle. I didn't hear anything. 
The sound came from you. I admit it. I made the sound. How did you do that? I made a whistle with a blade of grass. Teach me how to do it. Why do you want to learn? I want to surprise my sister when I get home. You're a mean older sister. I think I stepped on a snail. Did you feel something crunch under your shoes? Yes, it feels disgusting. Clean your shoes on the grass. There are snails everywhere. They like to eat the plants here. Do they make holes in the leaves? Yes, they make a lot of holes in the leaves. If they were faster, maybe they could hunt for food. What could they hunt? They have no teeth. Neither does my grandma. Your grandma is not a snail. I wish I were a bird. I think being a cat would be better. But birds can fly. Well, cats can climb. Birds fly higher than any cats can climb. And yet, cats eat birds all the time. That's only when the bird is sleeping. You just. Don't want to admit cats are better. I know why you want to be a cat. Why do I want to be a cat? Cats sleep all day, and so do you. At least cats can sleep without being eaten. Do you think wolves are like dogs? No way. Wolves are vicious. A man on TV lived with wolves for many years. Didn't they eat him? No, he is still alive, and he loves wolves. That is so amazing. Maybe people have the wrong idea about them. Probably they're always bad in children's books. I've never heard of a wolf eating a person in the real life. Neither have I. I think I like wolves. I still don't think they're like dogs, though. Did you hear about the community college? No. What about it? It's offering summer courses. I'm too old to go back to school. Those kind of courses are not the ones I'm talking about. What are you so excited for then? They're offering music lessons. That sounds interesting. What kind? They teach almost every instrument there is. Wow. I've always wanted to play the guitar. Do you really think you can with such fat fingers? I'll just use a very large guitar. My computer won't turn on. Did you charge the battery? Yes, I charged it all night. Have you dropped it recently? No, I've never dropped it. Maybe it has a virus. You mean maybe it's sick? No, you may have downloaded spyware. Do you think I need a new computer? Probably, and some spyware protection too. I bet it was the government spying on me. I really doubt you're worth spying on. This is the hottest summer ever. I bet you could fry an egg on the sidewalk. There has to be some way to cool off. Let's go to the mall. It's air conditioned. I bet the whole city will be there. Then let's watch TV at our house. That sounds boring. There's nothing good on TV. What do you want to do then? Let's go to the pool to swim. I think I'll pass. Why don't you want to go? If the sidewalk can fry an egg, the water will boil us. David did not come to work again today. He must be very sick to be absent the whole week. My sister made him some soup yesterday. Soup is very good for sick people to eat. Apparently, it wasn't good enough. What else does one do for a sick person? I'm going to send him a get well card. That is very nice of you. Maybe I'll get the whole office to sign it. Good idea. But I suggest you mail it to him. Why can't I take it to him? If you catch his cold, it will mean more work for us. My house is much too stuffy nowadays. It's the hot weather. I bought an air conditioner, but it doesn't help at night. 
I heard it's bad to leave it on at night. Why can't I leave it on at night? It causes you to catch cold. I bought a fan, but it makes too much noise. Why don't you install a ceiling fan? Are they quiet? Yes, and inexpensive too. Is it easy to install? Yes, if they weren't, they'd fall on people all the time. Did you feel the earthquake last night? Yes, the whole house was shaking. I was afraid the windows would shatter. A lot of my collectibles fell off their shelves. Did they break? Unfortunately, some of them can be fixed, though. My cat was outside when the earthquake started. Oh no, that's terrible. Is she okay? She's fine. Animals have good natural instincts. I wish people could predict earthquakes too. I think it would just make people panic more easily. You're right. Maybe it's best to leave it to the cats. Are you wearing those shoes with your suit? Yes. Is there something wrong with that? Well, they are very dirty and scuffed up. They're the only ones I have. Your shoes are fine, but you should shine them. Do I have to? It would make a good impression. How does being shiny make a good impression? Your employer will think you are very neat. Is that important? A neat person is more likely to be hired. Unless they're late for work from shining their shoes. Do you have a chainsaw? Yes, but why do you need it? I want to cut down the tree in my yard. What's wrong with it? It's a beautiful tree. It drops too many leaves. There are squirrels in that tree. The roots messed up my water system. The neighborhood children love climbing it. Birds land on it and poop on my car. People love the romantic and cooling shade it gives. I suppose the tree does have some good points. If you see the good, the bad won't seem so bad. You didn't answer your phone last night. The phone company cut my wireless. Why? Did you pay your phone bill? I refused to pay the last one. Why didn't you want to pay it? It was much too high. Did you make many long distance calls? I thought it was free to call others' cell phones. Only if they're from the same provider. Oops, that was my fault. You'd better call the company and apologize for this mess. Can I use your phone? Mine is still dead. Did you watch that show on TV last night? Do you mean the one about the zombies? Yes. Isn't it a great show? I didn't watch the whole episode. Why not? Didn't you like it? I did, but my son didn't. He is too young to be watching that show. I know. I didn't mean to let him watch it. How did he see it then? He snuck into the living room after his bedtime. Children are so crafty in getting what they want. Tell me about it. My son is like James Bond. It's been very sunny lately, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Some rain would be very nice. I don't think it will rain for quite some time. Maybe we can do a rain dance and summon rain. Do you be really believe in that? No, but who knows? Maybe it does work. I don't see how dancing around would bring rain. Well, it would be pretty funny looking. The rain gods would laugh at us. Maybe they'll laugh so hard they'll cry. I don't think I want tears as rain. Me neither. I suddenly don't mind the sunny weather. Can I have your phone number? What do you want it for? I got a new phone and all my contacts were deleted. You never called me anyway. What if there's an emergency? You won't need me in an emergency. Why don't you want to give me your number? I don't like giving my phone number to people. All right. Can I have your email address? 
Quit trying to stalk me. I was only trying to be friendly. Well, stop trying. You're not getting my email either. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have two fishes. That's it? Why don't you get more pets? I'm allergic to fur. That's terrible. I love cats and dogs. Do you own any? I have two cats and three dogs. Wow, that's a lot of animals. I know, but I love them so much. I wish I could own a cat someday. You're not happy with your fishes? Not really. I can't even pet them. Maybe you could get a snake. I'm not that desperate. Let's plan a vacation. Yes, I want to go somewhere warm. I was thinking of going somewhere cold and fresh. But I want to spend time on beaches. We always go to beaches. That's because they are always fun. Let's try something different. Where do you want to go? We could visit Alaska. But I don't even like the cold. Come on, the views look beautiful. Fine, but I get to plan our vacation next time. Have you ever flown on an airplane? Yes, I've flown in planes many times. Were you scared? The first time I was a little bit scared. But it went away after that? Yes, after the first takeoff, it was very simple and enjoyable. I've never gotten on a plane before. You have never flown in planes? Nope. I'm going to fly for the first time tomorrow. You'll love it. Don't you have first class tickets? No, they're coach tickets. Just take earplugs in case there are babies on board. Should I ask Nancy out or not? You should not. Why shouldn't I? Nancy is a liar. What does she lie about? She lies about everything. Please be specific. She lied, saying that her mom died. Wow, that's terrible. She wanted people to do favors for her. I'm never asking her out. I'm glad you decided to listen to me. I have a date with Mary tomorrow. Don't you have a date with Dorothy? My date with Dorothy is at 12 p.m. You have dates with both of them? What's wrong with that? Does Mary and Dorothy know about this? No. Should they? I think they would be upset if they knew. I'm just dating them. It's not serious. Why don't you tell them that? I think you're really pretty. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. Will you go out with me? No, I apologize. Why not? Did I say something wrong? You only want to go out with me for my looks. That's not true. What do you think of my personality? It's pretty. You're funny. A personality can't be pretty. Honestly, I don't care about your personality. Then I don't care about dating you. So what are we doing on Saturday? I don't have anything planned. Are you kidding me? No. What is so special about Saturday? I shouldn't even have to tell you. Is it your birthday? No, it's our one year anniversary. I am so sorry. You should be. I guess I'm not that important. You are. I'll make it up to you. How are you going to do that? I'm going to get you an expensive gift. I'll pay the restaurant bill. No, I'll pay. You always pay. I'll do it this time. I'm the guy, so I'm supposed to pay. That is sexist. Are you really complaining about someone paying for you? Yes, because you're being sexist. Just let me pay. How about you pay half and I'll pay half? Only friends do that. We're a couple. Not anymore. I'm breaking up with you. You can pay then. I am never asking girls out again. That's crazy talk. Sarah didn't meet up with me like we planned. So you got stood up? Yeah, 
I feel pathetic. Maybe she got the location wrong. No, she didn't. I asked her friends. What did they say? They said she never wanted to go out with me. That's harsh. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll never talk to her again. There are plenty of girls out there. Will you go out with me? I think I'll pass. Why are you rejecting me? You just want to date me because I am rich. That's not true. I heard you talking to your friends about my money. I was just kidding. You're a terrible liar. Okay, you got me. How long did you plan on dating me if I said yes? I planned on marrying you and then taking your money. You are disgusting. I ran out of date locations. Try museums and amusement parks. Me and my boyfriend have been to both. Go to a different museum. That won't work. I feel like we've been everywhere. You can always go to a place more than once. No, it's too boring. If you're with someone you like, the location doesn't matter. Maybe I should break up with my boyfriend. I thought you two had chemistry. We don't. We can't talk about anything. Break up with him before it gets serious. We need to talk. You're breaking up with me? I didn't even say anything yet. I already know. You're right. I'm breaking up with you. Why? I thought things were going good. They were. Things happen. What kind of things? I can't tell you. You'll get mad. I need to know. I met someone else. You're right. I am mad. My parents tell me I can only date after college. That is ridiculous. When can you date? My parents let me date whenever. You're so lucky. Why don't you just not tell them? That would be rebellious. Life is boring without rebellion. Wouldn't they eventually find out? Even if they do, they can't change anything. You're totally right. It's your life, not your parents. I have to tell you something. Go ahead and tell me. You won't like it. Just spill it. I saw your boyfriend kissing another girl. Are you serious? Yes, they were at a fancy restaurant. Thank you for telling me. Of course. We're good friends. I'm going to embarrass him. He deserves it. Call me when you see them together again. So, what are some of your hobbies? I don't have any. What are your favorite TV shows? I don't watch TV. What do you want to do when you grow up? I don't know. How would you describe yourself? I don't know. Oh, come on. You must know something. Don't you get the hint? I don't want to be here. Thanks for wasting my time. You're welcome. When are you going to marry? Where is this coming from? You have been dating Patricia for five years already. I'm just taking it slow. It can't get any slower. What if I find someone else? You won't. Patricia is your soulmate. Does she want to marry me? Yes, she told me. I need to talk to her. Don't tell her I told you. Don't worry, I will not. I met my girlfriend's parents yesterday. How were they? Terrible. They hate me. What did they say? The mother said I'm not smart enough for her daughter. That's mean. The father said I look like a thug. Well, what were you wearing? A red t-shirt and jeans. Seriously? You have to be more classy. They should be happy when I make their daughter happy. You need to meet up with them again. I'm going to send a drink to that girl. Don't do it. Why shouldn't I? She'll pour the drink on your head. Has she done that to you before? She does it to everyone. Why doesn't she just accept the drink? 
She thinks she's too good for any guy. I'm going to pour the drink on her. I would love to see that. The question is, what drink? Something sticky and sour. I've been dating for a while, but I've never kissed anyone. Don't worry about it. When did you have your first kiss? I was 15. How was it? Weird. I didn't like the guy at all. Why did you kiss him then? I wanted to get it over with. When should I kiss my girlfriend? When you're ready. I don't think I'll ever be ready. Then maybe your girlfriend is the problem. What's your idea of a perfect date? You want me to tell you? Yes, I really want to know. He has to come to my door with roses. And then what? He has to open the door of a limousine. Then where are you going to go? A fancy restaurant with an ocean view. That sounds nice. We would eat lobster. How would you end your date? With fireworks and dessert. Let's go on a double date. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? It'll be fun. My boyfriend is really shy. Me and my boyfriend don't bite. I'll think about it. Don't just think about it. Say yes. I would have to ask my boyfriend. He'll go. We'll go to the museum your boyfriend loves. He would like that. So, is that a yes? It's a maybe. I have a date with an amazing girl tomorrow. How did you meet her? I bumped into her on the street. What a coincidence. It was love at first sight. How do you know? We looked into each other's eyes. Anyone can look into another person's eyes. It was more than just looking. What was it like then? It was like a fairy tale. All you need is a castle then. Are you going to go out with John? No, I decided not to. Why not? He is such a good man. I just don't see a future with him. It's because he's shorter than you, am I right? I am not that shallow. Oh, come on. Stop lying to me. Fine. You are right. You should give him a chance. I just think dating a short guy is weird. Get past his appearance. Don't be shallow. I guess I should call him again. I think Jamie is very handsome. Well, you can't talk to him. Why not? Because he's going out with me. That's not true. Of course it is. And we are together all of the time. That's just because you do his homework for him. No, he likes me more because I'm smarter than you. But I'm prettier than you. You are not. I really am. Let's ask Jamie who is prettier. Fine, let's go. Why is the guy behind me honking? You are going too slow. I am driving at the speed limit. Everyone drives fast in this town. No one follows the rule? You're the only one. I should yell at him. No, he'll just be even more mad. Good, he deserves to be mad. You don't know if he's dangerous. I'll just go even slower. That would really annoy him. Why are you driving so fast? I have to be at work on time. Do you really have to? Yes, I will be fired if I'm late. I don't want to die. Relax, I am a good driver. A good driver doesn't drive extremely fast. We haven't even hit anything yet. I bet you're going to get a ticket. How much do you want to bet? If I win, you're never driving me. If I win, you have to shut up whenever I drive. How long have you had your license? Only two days. I don't feel safe. Why not? I passed the test. Did you get a perfect score? No, but a lot of people don't. 
What was your percentage? 75%, which is totally fine. Can you just drop me off here? Are you serious? Yes, I don't want to get hurt. Fine, don't ever ask me again for a ride. Driving is so bad for the environment. We should carpool. That is a smart idea. Where do you live? I live on Broadway in Los Angeles. Perfect. I live two streets down. I can drive on Mondays and Tuesdays. I'll drive for the rest of the week then. Can we start tomorrow? Sure. I'll pick you up at 8 a.m. What color is your car? You can't miss it. It's green. Do you like my new car? Yeah, but it's a little plain. What should I do to make it less plain? Decorate it. That's what I did. I know. I'll put stuffed animals in the back. You can also get a steering wheel cover. I might as well get matching seat covers, too. I'll give you my sister's seat and steering wheel covers. Are they new? Yeah, she never used them. Thanks. How much do you want for them? Consider the covers your birthday present. You, in the green shirt. Are you talking to me? You're the only one here in a green shirt. What do you want? I saw you scratch my car with a key. You have no proof. You do know there are video cameras, right? I don't know what you're talking about. If you admit it now, I won't press charges. Fine. I scratched your car. Why did you do it? You parked too close to my car. You have not driven in a month. I just like staying home these days. What is really going on? Honestly, I'm scared of getting into an accident. You weren't scared two months ago. My best friend got into a car accident. Accidents do happen, but not if you're careful. I'm just scared. You shouldn't be. If it happened to my friend, it can happen to me. So you're just going to never drive? I'll drive when I'm ready. Where do you want to go? How about Santa Anita Mall? I don't know how to drive there. Do you have a map? Yes, but I don't know how to read it. Try calling someone for directions. I lost my phone yesterday. You are so unlucky. Do you want to go anywhere else? Yeah, surprise me. Okay, I know this really fun place. Great, I can't wait. Dad, I don't have my own car. Your mom and I talked to you about this. I wasn't paying attention. We don't have enough money for a new car. Can't we just take some loans? You can just use the old car. It's so ugly, though. Money doesn't grow on trees. Everyone at school has a new car. Get a job and buy one yourself. But no one wants to hire me. Then you're going to have to do drive an old car. My license plate number came in today. Do you like it? It's just some random numbers and letters. You should customize it. I can do that? Yeah, I did. What does yours say? Mine says Cali 95. Why did you choose that? I love California and I was born in 1995. That is pretty clever. Thanks. You could do something similar. Are you sure you want to go to Seattle? Yes, I am sure. It's an eight-hour drive. I know. Let's go. If you say so. I'll drive for the first four hours. I'll drive for the last four hours. Did you bring food? I brought sandwiches and bottles of water. Good. I brought the napkins. Let's get gas first. Yes, we need a lot of it. My car was stolen. I am so sorry to hear that. Did you happen to see anything suspicious yesterday? Well, I did see a man looking at your car. What time did you see this man? I saw him at about 2 p.m. I wasn't home at that time. Then the man I saw could be the criminal. What did he look like? 
I couldn't really see his face. I'll never find the criminal. I hope you have a good insurance plan. Hi, is there a specific car you're looking for? I'm looking for a convertible. We have a wide selection right here. I don't see what I want here. Really? We have over 100 convertibles. I'm interested in a purple convertible. That's a rare color in any car dealer. I guess I have to go elsewhere. Don't go. We have colors close to purple. Like what exactly? We have blue cars. Blue is blue. Purple is purple. Goodbye. Is your seat belt on? Of course it is. I can tell you're lying. Fine. The truth is, I never put my seat belt on. Why not? That's so dangerous. It feels so uncomfortable. Say that after you get into a car accident. I'm never going to get into an accident. There are other reasons you should put on your seat belt. And that is? You're going to get a ticket. Really? Fine. I'll put my seat belt on. Are you nervous for your driving test? Yeah. I don't want to fail. You won't. You have been practicing a lot. There's one thing I was never good at. What is that one thing? Right turns. What's wrong with your right turns? They're too wide. We can practice right now. You would do that for me? Of course. I want you to pass. All right. Let's do this. The traffic in this lane is terrible. Why do you think that is? Probably some car accident. You should switch to another lane. Okay. I'll switch to the right lane. Wait. There's a car coming. That was scary. I almost hit that car. How could you not see that? I didn't look in the rearview mirror. You are such a bad driver. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. I think it's only you who makes such mistakes. Make a right turn here. Watch out. There's a person walking. I see him. He walks so slowly. Is he doing this on purpose? Maybe we should tell him to speed up. That's kind of mean. Then we'll wait. I know. I can honk at him. That is even worse than talking to him. Forget it. I'm driving straight ahead. You're more impatient than I thought. You got a new car? How did you know? I saw it in your driveway. What do you think of it? It's really fancy. Yeah, it was expensive. How much was it? It was over a hundred thousand dollars. That's four times as much as my car. It's a brand name car. You must be pretty rich then. No, I just really like fancy cars. Hey, can I get a ride? I don't know you very well. We're in the same math class. I know, but we're just classmates. Please, my house is far away and it's hot. You can take the bus. The bus doesn't come for another hour. Surely you can wait. No, I can't. I have to be home soon. I'll drive you, but only for a price. You name it. Buy me dinner. I cleaned my car yesterday. It's not clean anymore. What happened? Take a look. Oh no, there's bird poop. That's unfortunate, since you just washed it. Can you wash my car? I'll wash it for $15. This can be your birthday gift to me. It's a deal. Have fun washing the poop off. Sometimes I wonder why we're friends. Excuse me, can you please help me? What's the problem? My car stopped in the middle of the road. Did you run out of gas? Yes, I think I did. There is no gas station within walking distance. May I please borrow your phone? Are you planning to call a tow service? Yes, I think it's all I can do. If you'd like, I'll drive you to the station. Thank you so much. It's no problem. Let's get going. 
I hate driving in this city. Why do you hate it? There's traffic everywhere you go. I know that can be stressful. How do you handle it? It's just about finding two things. And what is that? First, you need to find a lot of patience. What's the second thing? Then, you need to find a lot of shortcuts. Can you show me some of these shortcuts? Sure. I'll show you around tomorrow. Thank you so much. I was about to go crazy. I think my car needs an oil change. Why don't you go buy the oil and do it yourself? I am not familiar with the process. I can teach you to do it, if you'd like. I'd be grateful if you did. How about next week? That is too long from now. Can you do it sometime this week? I have too much work to do it this week. Then maybe you should take it to the mechanic. Where can I find one nearby? Look it up in the yellow pages or even online. Excuse me. Hello. How can I help you? I'm interested in buying a membership card. That's great. How did you hear about us? A friend of mine has a membership with you. What services are you interested in? I would like to have access to the swimming pool. Would you also like to work out in the gym? Yes, I would. Here is a listing of our prices. I think this plan is best for me. All right. Just fill out this paperwork and that's all. Can you teach me to swim? Why don't you take a class instead? Swim classes are embarrassing. I suppose I can teach you. How did you learn to swim? My father threw me into a lake when I was four years old. You could have drowned. I could have, but I swam instead. Is that how you plan to teach me? It's the best way to learn. I think I will sign up for the class after all. Okay, that is less work for me. Are you going to camp this summer? I don't think so. Why not? I'm kind of traumatized from last year. What happened last year? I got a cramp while swimming and almost drowned. I thought you took swimming lessons last semester. I did, but I'm still afraid. Anything could happen. You just have to trust in your abilities. Do you really think I'll be okay? I know you will. You swim like a fish now. Thanks for your encouragement. I think I will go after all. Why is this soccer ball pink? I bought it at the breast cancer fair. I thought that all soccer balls are black and white. The pattern isn't what makes it a soccer ball. Then what makes it a soccer ball? What's important is the material it's made from. What's so special about the material? It allows the ball to bounce, but not too much. I see. It would be hard to control a bouncy ball. My ball is a little flat, though. We'd better fill it up. If we don't, it won't even roll. Have you seen the air pump? I'm surprised to see you out running. I want to join the track team next semester. Is that why you're training so hard? Yes, I want to be in shape for tryouts. You just don't run to get in shape. What should I do then? You should do some weight training too. What good is weight training? It will give you strong legs so you can run well. If my legs get too muscular, I'll look like a frog. Frogs are pretty fast. That's true. Maybe as a frog, I'd win all the races. You sure are buying a lot of stuff. It's all the equipment I need for basketball. What do you need besides a ball and a hoop? All good players have a good pair of shoes. That makes three things. You should also wear comfortable clothes when you play. What about all the candy you're buying? A player has to stay energized. I don't think it's good to run on sugar. Then I'll eat it while I'm watching the basketball game. Are you watching it on television? Yes, there's a big game on Sunday. I want to try out for the tennis team. Our school doesn't have a tennis team. Yes, it does. They were practicing after school yesterday. Were they using a birdie? Of course not. That'd be animal abuse. 
A birdie is a plastic, red-nosed tool for badminton. Oh, I see. Yes, they were using a red tool. Then the sport you saw was definitely badminton. Is that also why the rackets were so small and thin? Yes. It's w somewhat similar to tennis, though. Well, in that case, I want to join the badminton team. I wish you the best of luck. Do you like baseball? I've never watched a game. You've never even seen it on television? I don't own a television set. We should go watch a game one day. Where can we watch a baseball game? In a baseball stadium. There are entire stadiums just for playing baseball? Yes, they even wrote a song about it. I never knew it was such a popular sport. Do you want to go play catch in the park? Sounds good to me. What happened to your eye? I was punched in the eye. You got into a fight? Yes, but it's all right. I don't think fighting is okay. I was fighting in a boxing match. Are you taking boxing lessons? Yes, I go every evening. Have you ever fought in a competition? Yes, but I didn't make it to the finals. Well, maybe you should wait until your eye heals to compete again. I definitely will. It's hard to box with only one eye open. I'm so sore from running. Maybe you've been practicing too hard. I want to do well on the big race next week. After all that practicing, you'll be too tired to run. I won't. I'm trying to get faster, though. You're pretty fast. I feel like my grandma can run faster than me. You just have to believe in yourself, and you'll do well. I always get nervous before races. Maybe you should run distance races instead. Do you really think I have a good endurance? Of course. Otherwise, you couldn't train this hard. Do you like my new bicycle? It looks very sporty. It's a racing bike. I bought it so I could be in the, tri in the triathlon. Wow, I hear triathlons are difficult. You have to train hard for them. Are triathlons always based on the same three sports? Yes, they are cycling, running, and swimming. It's so exciting. I'll be sure to watch you compete. It's not a competition against others. It's not? No one can win first place? You can, but I just want to prove to myself I can do it. I'm sure you can. I'll even sponsor you in the race. That skateboard doesn't have any wheels. That's not a skateboard. Oh, is it a surfboard then? No, that's a snowboard. It's amazing how similar yet different those three sports are. They all take a lot of practice and dedication. I think I'd like snowboarding best. Why do you like it most? When you wipe out, you fall in fluffy white snow. That does sound better than falling on concrete. It's also better than drowning in the ocean. Snowboards are the best kind of board in my book. This is a weird looking golf club. That's not a golf club. What is it then? It's a hockey stick. Is hockey the game the men play on ice? Yes, it is. It's a difficult game. It reminds me a lot of soccer. I think hockey is more difficult than soccer. Why do you think that? Well, you have to skate. Soccer is just kicking. I think there is more to it than that. Either way, I'd be terrible at both. Our skates are so different. What do you mean? Your wheels are all in a line and mine are not. Oh, that's because these are rollerblades. They look difficult to use. They just go a little faster. Our skates show our differences in personality. Why are you saying that? Yours are sharp and sporty, but mine are cute and practical. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Anyways, Let's go back to skating. Let's go. What are those men doing with brooms? I think those are special brushes. Are they going to clean the ice? It looks like this is some kind of sport event. 
Look, they're sweeping in front of that rock. The internet said that the sport is called curling. It doesn't seem like a real sport to me. Me either. All they do is throw the rocks. How did this sport make it into the Olympics? I don't know, but I think it's boring. Should I change the channel? I wouldn't mind if you did. You've been watching a lot of soccer lately. There's a different game shown every day. That's because of the World Cup. Everyone is talking about it all the time. Have you watched every single game? No, I only watch the really important teams. How do you choose which teams are important? Well, I cheer for the countries my parents are from. What other teams do you cheer for? Well, this country's team, of course. How do you choose from all other teams? That's easy. I cheer for the one with the cutest players. I've never been in a sports shop before. I love looking at all of the equipment. Everything is so colorful and new. It's so that players can personalize their equipment. There are so many different sports I've never heard of before. They have sports stuff from all over the world. I feel like I want to try harder in sports now. Why do you have that feeling? That way, I'll know how to use all of this equipment. For now, I think it's best to stick to the basics. I agree, but being in here still makes me excited. Me too, especially when there's a sale. Great shirt! Go Dodgers! It's great to find a fellow fan. Do you think we have a chance at winning this year? Of course. The coach will not let us down. Have you ever been to an actual game? I try to go to at least one every season. What's it like? It's a great experience. Children love going to the stadium. Maybe I'll take my son to a game. Just keep an eye out for flying balls. I'd be more worried about cavities from sweets. It's just a baseball game. You're supposed to pig out. Do you like sports? Of course I do. Awesome! What's your favorite one? Hockey. It's the best sport there is. It's too violent for me. I've heard a lot of people say that. Yes, it looks dangerous. Not really. I've been playing for five years and I'm okay. Is that why you're missing your front teeth? Yes, but it's not that bad. It looks painful. A little. Everything else about hockey is fun. Cool, but I'll stick to golf. Hi, you're David's mom, aren't you? Yes, I am. Do I know you from somewhere? I'm James's mom. They play on the same team. That's right. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Will David be playing in the big game on Saturday? I'm afraid not. He's fighting a cold. That's terrible. A bug has been going around. He missed a lot of school, though. I see. I'll, s I'll ask David to deliver his homework. That would be a great help. Thank you. It's no problem at all. Tomatoes are so strange. What's so weird about them? My dad made a cake with them yesterday. That's a little unusual, I guess. Also, we eat them in salads all the time. Why is this so amazing? You don't usually use vegetables in desserts. Tomatoes are a fruit. That's like saying strawberries are not really berries. Actually, they're not. I feel like I've been lied to all my life. Well. At least you can use them both in salads. I am so hungry. Why don't you heat up a TV dinner? I'm tired of eating frozen food. It's not frozen once you heat it up. You know what I mean. Do you want to order a pizza? We had pizza two days ago. We may still have leftovers. Can we go get takeout? Only if you do the driving. On second thought, I'll heat up the TV dinners. You're the laziest person I know. Tomorrow is my son's birthday. 
Are you going to bake him a cake? I was thinking about it. What kind were you considering? That's what I'm not sure about. Well, all kids love chocolate. That's true, but it has a lot of sugar. Why don't you make it plain vanilla? I don't think the kids will eat a plain cake. Then mix them and make chocolate swirl cake. That's an amazing idea. Another good idea is to let me lick the frosting bowl. I get so hungry during the day. That's not good. You should eat more. Maybe I'll start taking snacks to work. You can store them in the cafeteria fridge. I'm afraid others will eat them, though. You know, you might have a point. I could write my name on the containers. That's a good solution. What kinds of things should I take, though? You can wake up early and make lunch. You know, maybe it's not worth all the effort. You mean you don't want to give up your sleep? Why are some apples green and others red? Won't the green ones turn red later? No, I think they will always stay green. Then they're just different kinds of apples. But what makes them different? Their genetics, I guess. What if a long time ago someone colored apples red? Then why are there green ones? Because the painter made a mistake. What do you think happened to that painter? The Apple Queen probably chopped off his head. I think you've seen Alice in Wonderland too many times. Do you have any chewing gum? I don't have any, sorry. What are you chewing on then? It's a piece of paper. Do you know how dirty paper is? It was a brand new sheet. Why are you chewing it though? I forgot to buy gum, so I'm chewing paper. What if you get a paper cut on your tongue? I really don't think that will happen. I still say it's a bad idea. But at least I'm chewing something. Why do they call this bubble tea? I think it's because of the balls on the bottom. They don't look like bubbles to me. I told my sister they were frog eggs. Did she believe you? Yes, she started crying. Why was she crying? She said I was mean for eating baby frogs. I agree with your sister. You're pretty mean. It was just a bit of fun. Well, did you know they're really fish eyes? You're definitely not funny. What a delicious meal. Don't stick your chopsticks in rice like that. What's wrong with it? It's very bad manners. Oh, I didn't know that. You also shouldn't hold them in your mouth. Where should I put them then? Just lay them neatly across your plate. Chinese restaurants have a lot of rules. Are you kidding? Fancy restaurants have three forks. Never mind. I prefer two sticks to three forks. Definitely. So mind your manners, please. Don't put your cup noodles in the microwave. Why not? They're better this way. The styrofoam will melt and get in your food. How am I supposed to heat it then? Heat the water and then pour it in. It seems like so much more work, though. It's worth it to be healthier. You're right. It takes longer, though. It'll take even longer if you keep complaining. Okay, okay. I'll heat the water now. Don't heat it for too long or you'll burn yourself. I think I'll just eat them raw as a snack. What is in this can? I don't know. It doesn't have a label. It looks like a corned beef can. Well then, open it and we'll cook it. It smells a little strange. Maybe it went bad. Why is the dog so excited? Dogs love meat, so he can probably smell it. Wait a minute. I think I know what this is. What do you think it is? It's the dog's canned dog food. We're so lucky he discovered that before we did. Let's go get lunch. Where do you want to go? Let's try that new restaurant down the street. Only if you're treating. 
I think it's your turn to pay the bill. I paid it last time. I think you're wrong. It's an expensive restaurant. I really want to try it though. If you want to go in, we'll pay separate bills. That sounds fine to me. Maybe we should do that more often. Do you want to get some ice cream? Ice cream is really fattening. All desserts are fattening. Why don't we just eat some yogurt? I want something cooler. Haven't you ever heard of frozen yogurt? I don't think that's really yogurt. Is it ice cream then? I think it's healthier than ice cream. It tastes good, and that's all I care about. Well then, let's get some frozen yogurt. All right. I just don't know where to buy it. My grandma bought me some chocolates yesterday. That is an impressive looking box. She said they were imported chocolates. What does that mean? I don't know, but it sounds impressive. I think it means that they come from another country. Would people go through that much trouble for candy? Chocolate is considered a delicacy in some places. It's ironic that it's almost worthless here. Have you tried it yet? Yes, it's delicious. Well, that's imported chocolate for you. This is the most amazing smoothie ever. What is so amazing about it? It's made with a fruit humans invented. How did humans invent a fruit? I think the process is called crossbreeding. That's amazing. What is the fruit called? The name is a little uncreative. Oh, tell it to me. It's a strawberry banana. You mean you got excited over a strawberry banana smoothie? Wasn't making two fruits into one a great idea? I think you misunderstood this whole situation. The fish and chips dish looks delicious. Do they let you choose the chips you want? Maybe they're just salted potato chips. The picture on the menu shows French fries. Maybe that's an alternate choice. I don't think so. No other chips are listed. Do you think maybe the French fries are the chips? Maybe they're both made from potatoes. This is a very confusing menu. I agree. They must get a lot of complaints. Oh well, you can have the chips. I think you mean French fries. What's that white stuff on your food? It's sour cream. Want to try some? I don't think so. It sounds gross. It's not really sour. Why is it called sour cream then? I think it's because they let the milk go sour to make it. You're eating sour milk? Yuck! Cheese is made in a similar way. I thought cheese was made from bacteria. Of course. Bacteria cause milk to go sour. Dairy products are so strange. Even so, I think they're delicious. James, eat your candy after dinner, please. I just want to eat a little now. You'll spoil your dinner. My food won't rot if I eat a little candy. What do you mean? When food spoils, it goes bad. My food won't go bad. It won't rot, but it won't taste the same either. Why won't it taste the same? Well, if you eat the candy now, it will stay in your mouth. I guess so. Why is that bad? I don't think you want blueberry-flavored mashed potatoes. You're right. I don't. I'll eat the candy later. I wish I could touch the clouds. I bet they would be soft like cotton candy. Maybe they're made of cotton candy. That's impossible. Well, they're both fluffy. That's all they have in common. Both clouds and cotton candy dissolve with water. Clouds don't dissolve with water. Then why do they disappear after it rains? That's actually a good observation. I never want to try white cotton candy though. Me neither. I imagine it would taste like mint. I love putting bacon in everything I cook. It is a delicious food. Did you know you can even put it in chocolate? That's amazing. It tastes wonderful. They're my two favorite things.
I heard bacon is actually bad for you, though. How can something so delicious be bad? It makes it harder to pump blood through your body. That sounds dangerous. I heard it can really shorten your life. I'd rather live a short life happily eating bacon. I think you need to work on your priorities. There are so many different kinds of berries. I can't tell some of them apart. Me neither. It is a difficult task. Raspberries and blackberries have the same shape. Just remember that raspberries are red. Then why is raspberry candy always colored blue? I think that's because cherry flavor is already red. Blueberries are even more confusing. Why? They're the blue ones. Well, when you mash them, they look purple. I don't think anyone eats mashed blueberries. It's easier to eat them all in a pie. Then they all taste good together. I'm making the food for the party tomorrow. I heard you are a fantastic cook. Thank you. I do my best. Do you have everything you need? I just need a few more items. Vegetables are so expensive. It's not so bad when they're not charged by the pound. What about when you need a lot of one kind? It's usually fine, except I always buy too much garlic. It's because the packages sell five heads instead of one. I can never use all the garlic, and it goes bad. Well, at least your house will be safe from vampires. I am so hungry. Me too. My stomach is growling. Are there any good places nearby? Do you want to go to the restaurant across the street? Oh no, that place is so dirty. I heard the food was good. The food is good, but not the place itself. What's so dirty about it? The staff only cleans the tables once a day. Wow, that is crazy. Anything else? The bowls and plates are not washed well. Let's not go there any more. Do you want to meet up for lunch? Sure. Where are we going? It depends. Are you a picky eater? Not at all. I like most anything. What about spicy food? That's my favorite kind. Mine too. I know a place with very spicy hot wings. Then we should go there. However, it is a little bit far. That's fine. I really want to try these wings. Okay, then I'll send you the address. See you there. Have you ever been to that popular hot dog stand? No, I have not. My friends said the hot dogs are really great. The line is always really long. I say we wait for them. They're just hot dogs. My friends said everyone should try it at least once. Do you always listen to your friends? No, but their opinions matter. My opinion is forget the hot dogs. Fine. I'm going to eat one in front of you. You won't ever reach the front of the line. Would you like to try our new item for free? If it's free, then of course. Great. Here it is. What is it? It's a smoothie made from chicken and beef. That is absolutely disgusting. You didn't even try it yet. I already know it's going to taste bad. Please try it. You might love it. I'll just have a slice of pizza. I will get that for you. Thanks, and take back the smoothie. May I have a table for three? Of course. Here is your number. About how long will it take you to call this number? About one hour. Wow, that is really a long time. I apologize for the long wait. Does the line go all the way outside? Yes, I apologize again. Why can't the customers wait inside? It's freezing. There are already too many people inside. Forget it. I'm leaving. Please give us another chance. Welcome to Sarah's Sandwiches. Hi. I don't know where to start. Let's start with the bread. I want something healthy and tasty. I recommend the sweet grain bread. Okay, thank you. 
What kind of meat do you recommend? Turkey would be good for you. Okay, I'll get that. I'll also add tomatoes, lettuce, onions, and cucumber. Thanks for helping me create a healthy sandwich. It is my pleasure. I am going to get the spaghetti. I don't know what to get. Just pick whatever looks good. This is so hard. Why don't you get the pizza? It's too expensive. How about the hamburger? It's too fattening. How about the burrito? I hate Mexican food. You are way too picky. I'm just going to get water. Hi, sir. What can I get you today? I'll have one glass of iced tea. I'm sorry, but we are out of iced tea. How can you be out of iced tea? We didn't get all of the ingredients. Iced tea is all I want. Sir, we have plenty of other drinks. I guess lemonade would be okay. Lemonade, coming right up. Wait, you should give me a discount. I will give you a 15% discount. Good. This restaurant is doing something right today. Have you been to this restaurant before? Yes. The last time I came here was two years ago. Does it still look the same? It looks nicer now. The paintings are amazing. Does the food taste the same? Yes. Their crab cakes taste great, as always. I am allergic to crab. That's too bad. It's okay. The chicken sandwich was just great. I am allergic to chicken. What aren't you allergic to? All the stuff that tastes bad. This chicken is so plain. I agree with you. Should we send it back? No, I don't want to give the waiter any trouble. Should we just leave this restaurant then? No, we already got here. What in the world do we do then? I know. Let's add chili sauce and lemon. What a great idea. Okay, here I go. Well, how does it taste? It tastes so much better. I am going to get the meatloaf. Get anything but the meatloaf. What's wrong with the meatloaf? I got food poisoning when I ordered meatloaf here. Thanks for telling me. No problem. I'm going to get the egg rolls. I'm still going to get the meatloaf. Did you not hear what I said? I did, but I'll take the risk. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't worry, I won't. Have fun throwing up later. I want to get pancakes. Are you crazy? It's 8 p.m. Does it matter? It's dinner time. I know, but I really like breakfast food. Why don't you just wait for tomorrow morning? I'm too impatient. I'm going to get actual dinner food. Sure, go ahead. You know, they might not have pancakes right now. I would go to another restaurant then. You really like pancakes. I don't like pancakes. I love them. Do you want to eat something really good? Yeah, of course. There's this incredible Italian restaurant. Okay, let's go now. We'll get there in four hours. Are you joking? The restaurant is in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're not going all the way there for food. Why not? It will be fun. There are a lot of Italian restaurants here. But they're not as good. Fine. We can go tomorrow. Excuse me, miss. Yes? What can I do for you? This bill is incorrect. It is indeed correct. I thought this plate of noodles was $10. You, read, you misread it. It is $100, not $10. Why is it so expensive? There are rare ingredients in it. What exactly are these rare ingredients? Caviar, lobster, and a special type of mushroom. I am not paying for this. You already ate it, so you must pay for it. I have a problem. What is wrong? I don't know how to use chopsticks. That's too bad. Doesn't this restaurant have spoons and forks? No, this place is really traditional. 
How can I eat my noodles then? You can use your hands. I am not a wild animal. You can learn how to use chopsticks. It's too hard. It's not. I'll teach you. Do you want to go to a buffet? What is a buffet? It's a restaurant where you can eat as much as you want. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it is. You'll be full when you leave. What kind of food is there? There's sushi, noodles, dumplings, and a whole lot more. How much is it? It's fifteen dollars per person. That's a reasonable price. I can't wait to go there. That was a delicious dinner. The waitress was bad, though. Don't be mean. She dropped soup on my dress. She did not drop it on purpose. She also took forever to bring out the food. Maybe she is a new employee. I am not giving her a tip. Oh come on! At least give her a small one. I'm not even going to put a penny. Fine, I'll put a tip. You are way too nice. What did you think about the waiter? He was nice. We should give him a forty percent tip. That's too much. You said he was nice. He was nice, but he wasn't excellent. Can we at least give him a thirty-five percent tip? Why do you want to tip this guy so well? He is my friend from school. Oh, I see. He's the only one who works in his family. Fine, we will give him a good tip. Is it me or does this water taste weird? It tastes weird. I'm glad it's not just me. It tastes sweet. I think the staff didn't wash the glasses. The customers before us probably ordered soda. That's why it's so sweet. Yeah, it's water mixed with soda. We are drinking someone's saliva. Gross. We should complain. We should ask for a free drink. I agree with you. Hi, sir. I have seen you a lot. I come to this restaurant twice a week. May I ask why? I really like the food and the environment here. I'm pleased to hear that. Any time. Anyways, I'll have my usual order. Don't you ever want to try something new? No, I really like the ham sandwich. I recommend the omelet. I'll try it if you give me a discount. Because you're a faithful customer, I will. Thanks for the good service. Wow, I'm the only one in this restaurant. Well, it is 1 a.m. Why doesn't this restaurant close earlier? It's trying to make more money. That's pretty smart. Just curious, why are you here at this time? I couldn't sleep. Maybe you should see a doctor. No, it's just a one-time thing. I see. What would you like to order? I'll have an egg and two bacon strips. You'll have it very soon. There are no other customers here. I am so thirsty. Sorry, I don't have water. Is there a restaurant nearby? Yeah, there's one two blocks down. Let's go there. I thought you wanted water, not food. I still do want water. Then why are we going to a restaurant? We're going to get water for free and then leave. That is so rude. Yeah, but we save money. You're so cheap. I'm tired of living with my sister. I don't like living with mine either. There should be a place to send annoying siblings. What kind of place? I don't know. Maybe the zoo. My sister is too wild to live in a zoo. I think she'd scare all the animals. Yeah. And eat all of their food. What about the aquarium? I guess the Shark Tank would be a good place. It's too bad that humans can't breathe under water. What a shame! It was the perfect plan. Do you want to come to my house tomorrow? My mother says I'm not allowed to go out this week. Why are you not allowed to go out? We are having a family reunion. Your whole extended family is staying over your house. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing my cousins. Are they fun to play with? Yes, last year we played a trick on my grandpa. 
What did you do? We replaced his denture glue with toothpaste. I don't think that's very funny. It was when his teeth fell into the mashed potatoes. Mother, may I go play outside? Have you cleaned your room yet? I promise I'll do it later. You said that yesterday. Go、I'm... clean it now. I really mean it this time. I'll clean it later. All right. Go play for a bit. Before I go, may I have a cookie? You can have it later. But it's the last one. Someone else might eat it. You can have it now if you go clean your room. I think I'd rather go out and play. Then I think I'll have the cookie for snack. Do you like this new dress I bought? It looks a little too big for you. I bought it for my mother. Is it for her birthday? No, it's a present for Mother's Day. Is it that time of year already? Yes, Mother's Day is next week. I have to hurry and find a gift for my mother. I'm sure it will be easy. I hope it won't be difficult. By the way, you never told me what you thought of the dress. It's beautiful. I am sure your mother will love it. I don't know what to give my dad for Father's Day. Why don't you give him a card? I already bought a card, but I want to give him a present too. What does your father like to do? He likes to cook. Maybe you can give him a chef's hat. Be serious. That gift is not practical. What other sorts of things does he like? He likes carpentry. What about getting him a new carving set? That sounds like a good idea. Let's look for one online. Computers are so amazing. I agree. I love the new webcams. Did you buy one recently? My laptop came with one. My mother loves it. Who does your mother use it to speak with? She calls my great aunt from out of state. I didn't know you had a great aunt. Neither did I. That webcam is bringing your family together. It really is. I cannot wait to meet her. I thought you already talked to her often. I do, but I will meet her in person next month. Son, come here, please. What is it, mother? Did you touch the frosting after I told you not to? No, I didn't touch the frosting. Then tell me. Why is it all over your face? I ate some, but I didn't touch it. You should not tell lies. I am not lying. My hands did not go near the frosting. Then how did you eat it? I used a spoon, so I didn't touch it. I didn't disobey you. You knew what I meant. No dessert for you tonight. That's all right. I've already had some frosting. Dad, why do you like fishing so much? Fishing is a good way to clear your mind. Is that because everything is so quiet? That it is exactly why. Don't you get bored just sitting and waiting? There is more to fishing than just sitting and waiting. What do you mean? To be a good fisherman, you have to read nature. The same way you read a book? Almost the same way. You'll learn in time. Is that what you like most about fishing? No, I like fishing together with you the most. The girls at school don't want to be my friends. Why don't they want to be your friends? It's because I don't dress like they do. There is nothing wrong with the way you dress. They listen to different music. Music is pointless if you don't enjoy it. They curl their hair and eyelashes. Doing that every day damages your hair. Maybe if I do those things, I can be their friend. It won't be fun to do things you don't enjoy. Then who will be my friend? I'm your friend because I like you for who you are. We have to babysit this afternoon.
Why can't we ever go out with mom and dad? They say they need time away from children. We're not children anymore. I guess that's why we have to watch the baby. What do you want to do first? We can play some video games. Do you want to have ice cream for dinner? That sounds good to me. Oops! I spilled chocolate on the carpet. We'll say the baby did it. Maybe babysitting isn't so bad. It's too cold to go swimming today. That's okay. We can make a sand castle. Dad forgot the buckets at home. We can explore the tide pools. Maybe we'll find some crabs. I think I'd like a seahorse better. We can put them in our aquarium. That's a great idea. How will we carry them without buckets? I forgot. We don't have any. What is there to do now? Wait until it's time to go home. Why did you throw snow at your brother? It was a snowball fight. He said he didn't know you were playing. Well, he should have known once he felt the snowball. Does this have anything to do with the snowman? You mean the one he knocked down? That's exactly the one I mean. Maybe, but I just wanted to have a snowball fight. You should be nicer to your brother. He should be nicer to my snowmen. Go say you're sorry and play nicely. Only if he says he's sorry first. Can Spotty be in the family picture too? No, he cannot. Dogs are pets, not family. Spotty is older than I am. That still doesn't make him a human. Sometimes it seems like he can talk. I said no, so the answer is no. What if we put a hat on him? Why would you want to do that? Then he'll look just like my little brother. You're really attached to him, aren't you? Yes, he's like part of the family too. All right, he may be in the photo, but no hat. I'm sorry, my grandma took away my phone. What did she do that for? She said it was too late to be talking on the phone. You said you'd call me at 9 p.m. That's the time she sent me to bed. How can anyone sleep so early? She said that was her usual bedtime. I guess old people need to sleep longer. Not really. She woke me up at 5 a.m. this morning. Wow, your grandma really loves sunlight. I'm so exhausted. Is that boy you walk home with your brother? No, he's my neighbor. Does he go to your house often? We hang out there almost every day. Your parents don't mind that? Of course not. They've known him since we were children. He might as well be your brother. I prefer having close friends to having a brother. What's wrong with having a brother? Brothers always fight over things they don't want to share. Are you afraid he'd take your things? No, I'm afraid he'd take my girlfriend. How do I get that boy to like me? Just be yourself and act naturally around him. I already do that, and I still don't have a boyfriend. You will, once the right boy comes along. How do I know which boy is the right boy? You'll know because you'll fall in love. How do I know if I'm in love or not? All the love songs will make sense. The only one that makes sense now are the sad ones. Don't worry. Just be patient, and then you'll see. You really think so? Yes, good things come to those who wait. I told you not to go into my room. I was just looking for a pencil. You're always making up excuses. My explanations are not excuses. You just want to snoop around my room. I don't want to be in your smelly room. Then stop going into it. Then help me find the things I need. Fine. From now on, ask me for anything you need. You promise not to get angry with me? Only if you promise not to annoy me. Deal. Can I please have a pencil now? 
I think I'm going to head home. Already? It's only midday. I think I have a fever. That's terrible. Does your head hurt? Yes, it's killing me. You should go home if you're not feeling well. I'm going to tell the boss that I'm leaving early. I'm sure he will understand. On the way home, I'll pick up some soup. Make sure to drink lots of fluids. I will. Thank you. I hope you feel better soon. Ow, that really hurts. Are you all right? What happened? I accidentally cut myself. Is it very deep? I don't think so, but it hurts a lot. You should disinfect it. I don't have anything with me. Here, use this ointment. Do you always carry that with you? Yes, along with some bandages. That's a very good idea. Perhaps you should do the same. I think David is running a fever. What should we do? His parents are not here. I don't want to give him anything he shouldn't take. How do we know what dose is all right for him? We should call the local pharmacy. Can they help us? They're not doctors. I'm sure they can. It's worth a try. What's the number? It's here on this receipt. Thank you. Can you call his parents? What should I say? We need to let him know he is feeling sick. How are you feeling? A little better. But it is still hard to talk. What did the doctor say the problem was? It's called mononucleosis. Isn't that the kissing disease? There are other ways to get it besides kissing. Oh yeah, name a few. Sharing drinks and food also spreads the disease. Really, I share drinks with my friends all the time. Yeah, so did I. Well, I won't share with you again. That's for sure. I won't share with anyone ever again. Why are you wearing a face mask? I don't want to catch anything. You won't get sick from breathing fresh air. There are germs floating everywhere. It is still unlikely that you will get sick. Why do you say that? Most of the time, we get sick from germs on our hands. You're kidding, right? Nope. We touch a lot of dirty things every day. I need some hand sanitizer. I didn't mean for you to become paranoid. I'm not paranoid. I just want to be healthy. Nine one one. What is your emergency? Hello, this is John. My child swallowed something. Is your child breathing all right? Yes, but he is complaining of chest pains. Do you know what it is he swallowed? It was a coin. I think it was a nickel. How old is your son? He's five years old. Please give me your address, and we will send paramedics. Should I hang up after that? No, please stay on the line in case something changes. All right, thank you. Hello, nine one one. I need an ambulance. What's the situation? My friend fell off her bike and hit her head. Is she unconscious? No, but she is bleeding a lot. Please tell me your location. We are near the community college. Please don't let her stand. Do you have her ID? Yes, I also found her insurance card. Good. You will need those at the hospital. She is beginning to feel less dizzy. Good. Just sit tight. The ambulance will be there soon. Hey, what's that you're eating? It's steamed rice cake. My grandma made it. Does it taste good? It's delicious. I think it's my favorite dessert. I think I'll stick to jelly donuts. Do you want one? 
No thanks. If you eat too many of those, you'll get fat. All pastries make you fat. That's true, but the ones with sugar are the worst. Sugar makes them taste good. Try this rice cake. It has a little sugar. I guess that is pretty good. It is, and it's healthier than donuts too. How many cups of coffee have you had today? I don't know. Three, maybe. Don't you think it's a little too much? No way. Coffee is good for you. Too much of anything is bad for you. What about water? Sure, people drown all the time. Well, I'd happily drown in coffee. Did you know coffee stains your teeth brown? Does it really? Yes, your teeth will rot if you drink too much. I'd better stop then. Girls like nice white smiles. Hey, where were you all afternoon? I was working out at the health club. You went to the gym. It's more than just a gym. All you do is lift weights, right? No, there's also swimming, sports, and even dancing. They have dancing at a health club. Of course, it's good for your coordination. I've heard that it's also good for toning your muscles. You should join me sometime. Maybe if I work out, I'll look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think you look more like Danny DeVito. Ah, I've got a cramp in my foot. Stop swimming and roll onto your back. It really hurts. It will stop hurting if you rest a little. Why did you tell me to roll on my back? It's easier if you just float until the pain stops. It hurts even more if I don't move my foot. At least your face is not in the water. I think the cramp went away. Can you move your foot now? Yes. Thanks for your quick thinking. No problem. Let's get to the shallow water. So hot. Let's go swimming now. We have to wait a while before swimming. But why? The sun is so hot. It's bad to swim after you just ate. Why? Will you sink in the water? No. The motion and sudden cold will make you sick. What kind of sick? It can make you nauseated, and you might throw up. How long do we know? Do we have to wait? Only about half an hour. Half an hour? I'll bake in the sun. It's better than throwing up your lunch. Why are you limping around like that? I signed up for the new yoga class. Did they make you do all those weird positions? Yes, some of those stretches hurt. I'm not flexible enough for yoga. I don't think I am either. Why did you sign up for it? I heard it's good for your body. I heard mostly women take that class. Well, there's that too. This is a punishment for your bad intentions. Maybe. Either way, I don't deserve this. That's a funny-looking outfit. It's a professional running suit. Why are you wearing it? I'm training for the marathon. I didn't know you liked running. I'm just trying to lose weight. Well, this is a good way to do it. The marathon is also a fundraiser. Maybe I'll sponsor you. Why don't you just run instead? Are you calling me fat? I just thought both sides would benefit that way. You look troubled. I feel terrible. What's the problem? I went hiking in the mountains last week. Isn't that supposed to relax you? Yes, but I wore shorts instead of pants. So it's hot there. I was eaten alive by mosquitoes and ticks. Deer ticks are really dangerous.
I know. I had to go to the doctor. Be more mindful next time. Trust me, I will. I hate deer ticks. I'm so tired today. Did you stay up late watching TV again? No, I tried to sleep at 11 p.m. And you couldn't fall asleep? No, I lay in bed until 3 a.m. Isn't that the time you usually fall asleep? I suppose it is, actually. Your body is too used to going to sleep really late. What should I do? I'm tired. Try to tire yourself out and sleep early today. Tonight is the season finale, though. You're hopeless. I have so many split ends. How do you brush your hair? The same way everyone else does. I don't think so. You're supposed to use a brush. A comb isn't that different from a brush. Combs tear long hair and cause split ends. Really? All this time I blamed my shampoo. Well, good shampoo helps to repair it. What should I do? Always brush it before you comb it. Then maybe I won't look like a broom. It takes hard work to have nice hair. My hair isn't soft and shiny anymore. Maybe you should do a hair treatment. Hair products are expensive, though. You can use certain foods to do it, too. Really? Which ones? I heard that avocado is really good for your hair. Oh, gross! I don't want to smell like mayonnaise. Well, other people use avocado. Great! I could either be a sandwich or a salad. You could always use baby oil and shampoo. Now that sounds more pleasant. If you say so, I don't mind using avocado. Why are you using crutches? Can you keep a secret? Of course I can. What happened? I sprained my ankle yesterday. What were you doing? It's kind of a secret. Why is it a secret? I'm a spy, and if I tell you, I'll get in trouble. Do you really expect me to believe that? All right. I'll be serious this time. Good. What really happened? I got hurt during my ninja training. Can I borrow your class notes? Sure, but didn't you take any down? I couldn't really see the board. Do you sit too far away? I think I just need new glasses. You should be careful. It could be serious. What do you mean? You could have a concussion. Or worms could be eating my eyes. Maybe you're a robot and your batteries are dying. I'm pretty sure I just need new glasses. Even so, you should probably buy some batteries. Your son is so healthy. He is already very concerned with fitness. That is so wonderful. He likes to eat healthy and exercise every day. My son likes chocolate and video games. That is not good for him at all. I don't know what to do with him. Make him some fun snacks for school. I gave him a carrot stick once. That's a good snack. Later he admitted that he gave it to the school rabbit. Well, at least the rabbit eats its vegetables. Do you know where I could get a back massage? What's wrong with your back? It hurts a lot when I sit for too long. A masseuse will not help you with that pain. What do you suggest I do? I think you should go to the chiropractor. What does he do? He adjusts the alignment of your back. Does this help with the pain? It usually does. Where can I find one? Look one up online. I'm sure you'll find one near you. Can you help me get up the stairs, please? Of course. What happened to your leg? I broke it a week ago. How did that happen? I was playing basketball and fell. Ouch! Did someone push you? No, I just jumped and landed wrong. I broke my leg once, too. How did it happen to you? A boy pushed me down a hill and I landed on my leg. That sounds like a mean kid. Yes. But I kicked him with the cast. You lost a lot of weight. Yes, thank you for noticing. You look great. How did you do it? 
I started eating a lot healthier. That's too hard for me to do. I also exercise four times a week. Oh, I don't have time for that. It can be hard to find time. However, it is worth it. I'm thinking of just trying some new diet pills. I suggest you try to do it naturally. I can help you if you want. That'd be great. Public restrooms gross me out. They're not always bad. Even when they look clean, there are germs everywhere. That's because so many people don't wash their hands. That makes me so angry. Me too. Washing hands is a simple thing to do. I think everyone is just too lazy to do it. It's very rude of them. I agree. Even five-year-olds know better than not to wash their hands. But there's not much we can do about it. I can't unlock the door. Maybe it's because the key is brand new. The lock won't turn at all. Are you sure the key is not upside down? I've flipped it five times. It still doesn't work? No, the door is still locked. Let me try to open it. Maybe you'll have better luck. I see what the problem is. You're using your old key. Oops, I'm so used to my old house. It's all right. Eventually, you'll get used to this one. I don't like the color of the walls. It's a very bright color. I want to repaint the whole house. What color will you use? I was thinking a nice blue color. That sounds very nice and soft. Will you help me paint the house? I think we will still need help. I'll ask some others to join us. Will you pay us? I'll pay you with pizza and soda. It's a deal. I'm hired. My son broke a window yesterday. How did he do that? He said he was practicing his pitching. He was pitching against the window. No, against the side of the house. If he missed, he's not a very good pitcher. No, but he's pretty fast and can run long distances. How do you know that? I chased him when I found out he broke the window. Well, you contributed to his training. As his coach, my fee is three months of his allowance. What a coincidence! That's enough for a new window. Why are you cutting into the wall? I bought a new air conditioning unit. I don't think that's how you install it. Have you ever installed one before? No, but that still looks wrong. I think I know what I'm doing. I see water pipes behind that wall. I don't think that's good for the air conditioner. I don't think so either. Will you call some professionals now? I guess that's the best thing to do. You should have done so from the beginning. You have so many portraits on your wall. I love displaying all the pictures I've taken. How do you hang all the picture frames? I just hang them on the wall. You don't use nails, do you? Well, yes, I do. You're not allowed to use nails in an apartment. Why not? It ruins the walls for the next tenant. I didn't think about that. You'd better use poster putty the next time. I'll cover all these holes with paint. You sure bought a lot of Christmas lights. I want the house to be shining this Christmas. Do all of the houses on the block decorate? Yes, they do. It is quite beautiful. I can wait to see when it's done. A parade marches by every year so people can see them. What are you doing on the roof? I'm going to make it look like it snowed up here. Are you using Christmas lights and cotton? That's right. I'll install a Santa Claus too. You sure are full of Christmas spirit. Of course, it only comes once a year. The house down the street is on fire. How do you know? There is smoke coming from the house. Did you call nine one one? I am going to call right now. I think they're having a barbecue. This is nothing to joke about. No, I mean the smoke is coming from a grill. Oh. That explains the delicious smell. Were we invited? I'm afraid we were not. How sad! Even after saving their burning house.
How many roommates do you have? There are five of us in total. Wow. Don't you ever fight? Sometimes, but we try not to. Who does all the household chores? We take turns so that it's fair. That's a good way to do things. Yes, it is, and it helps us get along better. What about when one of you has a girlfriend over? We agreed to try not to have them over too often. I guess it would be a tight squeeze. Too tight for any of our liking. Who let the dog inside? I did. What's the problem? He got mud all over the new carpet. That wasn't him. I just gave him a bath. Now that I look closer, these look like footprints. Well, they're not mine. They're too big. They're not mine either. I haven't been outside. I think those are Dad's footprints. I think you're right. Dad's in big trouble now. Yes, he is. Maybe he'll sleep in the doghouse tonight. I don't think the dog wants Dad as a roommate. I made a terrible mistake. What's the problem? I made the check for the mortgage and didn't mail it. When was it due? Yesterday. I thought I sent it three days ago. It was just an honest mistake. Do you think I can send it now? Well, you have to. They may charge a late fee, though. I have to be more careful when making the payments. Yes, you do. I'd hate to be evicted. Don't joke about things like that. I'm sorry. I'll go mail the check now. I need a bigger closet. I think you just need fewer clothes. A woman can never have too many clothes. She can if they don't fit in her closet. Maybe we should take your things out of it. Then where would I put my clothes? You can put them in a small wardrobe. I think it's easier if you throw some dresses out. My dresses are nicer than your clothes. I only have the clothes that are necessary. So do I. I need to look nice more often than you do. I wish your attitude was as nice as your dresses. I have a big surprise for you. Is it a new toy? No, it's a big announcement. That doesn't sound very exciting. We are moving to a new house. What's wrong with our apartment? Well. A house is bigger. Apartments are cozier. You can have a dog in the new house. But we already have a cat. The new house has a tree house in the backyard. Now there's a big surprise. I'm so excited. There are holes in the wood in the garage. Are they big or little? They are actually quite tiny. That is very worrisome. Why do you say that? You could have termites or carpenter ants. You mean bugs could be eating at my house? Yes, it is a very serious problem. What should I do? You need to fumigate them immediately. Bugs are such a hassle. I wish they were all dead. I want to form a secret club. That sounds fun. Where would the club meet? Maybe we can meet in my attic. No way. It's dark up there. We just need to take flashlights. What if we fall through the ceiling? I don't think that will happen. Most attics are haunted in movies. Do you really believe in ghosts? No, but I don't want to risk it. Maybe the attic isn't such a good idea. Let's meet in the living room instead. I'm planning a housewarming party. Is that to celebrate buying a heater? Don't be so sarcastic. I really don't know what that is. It's so that we can meet our neighbors. I don't really want to meet our neighbors. Quit being so negative. What do we do at this party? Everyone brings a dish and we sit and eat and talk. Sounds like a regular party. It's a regular party. Next time, don't call it something so strange. This is the perfect house for us. It has all the bedrooms we need. Each bedroom even has a bathroom. The backyard is huge. And we finally have a pool. What's the price for this house? I didn't expect it to be so high. This house is hideous. I agree. We should look for a different house. A house like this wouldn't be so bad.
as long as the price tag doesn't make it hideous. Let's check the price first next time. What is that you're riding? It's my new riding lawnmower. It looks like a sporting vehicle. Mowing the lawn can be a sport. That doesn't sound like a very exciting sport. It's exciting on a riding mower. How does it take you? How long does it take you to finish the lawn? Around 20 minutes. It takes me an hour most of the time. This tool is fun and convenient. Can I borrow it sometime? No way. A racer never lends out his race car. The pool is filthy. I forgot to put on the cover last night. There are mosquitoes buzzing around it. They lay their eggs in the stagnant water. How are we supposed to go swimming? You have to wait until I clean the pool. Can you clean it now? I have to before more mosquitoes hatch. Try not to get bitten. I'd hate to be hospitalized for a mosquito bite. If you are, make sure you finish the pool first. Your concern over me is heartwarming. What is that black goo you're carrying? It's roofing tar. Are you replacing your shingles? Yes, I am. The roof has been leaking in the rain. Isn't tar very messy? Yes, I need to be careful with it. How long does it take to finish? It takes several hours to replace all the shingles. I think you'd better work very quickly. Why do I have to work quickly? It looks like it's going to rain again tonight. Sometimes I think Mother Nature just likes being mean. There is garbage all over the ground. Those raccoons knocked over the trash cans again. I feel like calling animal control. Would they take care of the problem? I think they'd come and catch them. What would happen to the raccoons? They'd be released into the wild. What if they put them to sleep? I didn't think about that. Maybe it's better to buy chains for the trash cans. I think so too. That way we won't kill any raccoons. I am tired of living in my apartment building. Didn't you just move in a few months ago? Yes, but I really regret it. Why do you regret it so much? My neighbor is a percussionist. That sounds awesome. I love the drums. You wouldn't love them at three in the morning. He plays that late into the night? All the time. It sounds like I live in the jungle. Why don't you just complain to the landlord? I didn't want to cause problems. Your neighbor caused problems in the first place. My apartment is too far from work. Have you considered moving? I've thought about it. Where would you move to? I don't like the neighborhood around my job. What about the next one over? Then I'd be too far from school. There are some apartments in between the two. I went to see them, but they were too small. Why don't you live in a townhouse? I suppose that would be a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. It was my idea. I repainted my house, so I need some new furniture. What pieces are you looking for? A new table, a sofa, and maybe a reading chair. What's wrong with your old furniture? It doesn't match the room anymore. Is it still comfortable to use? Yes. I think I will sell it. You can also get it reupholstered. Are you crazy? That is much too expensive. It depends on where you have it done. I still say that it takes too much effort. Trying to help you takes too much effort, too. Apartments are so expensive these days. Only rich people can afford to live in them. My landlord raised the rent, so I'm moving out. Where will you live? I don't know yet. I have to search for an apartment. Are you going to live alone? Well, I've never had a roommate before. I would find one if I were you. It would be helpful in paying the rent. Post an ad on Craigslist and see who replies. If a psycho becomes my roommate, I'll blame you. If that happens, I'll stay far away from your apartment. I have a problem. Tell me about it. I got hired at a restaurant and a clothing store. What's the problem? 
I can only work for one of them. I think you should work at the restaurant. Tell me why. Folding clothes is annoying. What else is bad about clothing stores? Customers always mess up the clothes. Anything else? You get tips at restaurants. That's a good point. I want to be a doctor. Why do you want to be a doctor? Doctors make a lot of money. Doctors also have to go to school for a long time. Never mind. I want to be an engineer. Why do you want to be an engineer? Engineers make a lot of money. Will you be happy though? If I have a lot of money, I will be happy. Money doesn't equal happiness. But I can buy whatever I want with money. You can't buy friends, family, or love. I just turned 16 yesterday. 16 is a great age. What's so great about being 16? You can get a job. I didn't know that. You have to get a work permit, though. Thanks for telling me. No problem. Tell me when you get a job. Is it hard to get one? Yes, employers don't like to hire people under 18. That's going to change when they meet me. Your confidence will surely get you a job. I'm going to quit school. I don't recommend that. Don't worry, I'm going to start a business. What kind of business? I'm going to make robot that does chores. Have you made the robot yet? No, but I'm starting to. If you do manage to complete it, it would sell well. Yeah, that's why I'm going to quit school. You are right. Who needs school if you have a great idea? I'm just worried my parents won't understand. They love you. They'll understand. How long have you been watching TV? About 10 hours. You need to get a job. Why? You and Dad make so much money. You can't just sit around all day. But I'm not good at anything. Everyone is good at something. Well, I'm good at watching TV. Why don't you become a TV critic? I would love to watch TV and write, write reviews. See? You are good at something. Thanks, Mom. I'll start looking for jobs now. I'm trying to find a job to pay for college. Good for you. Do you have a job right now? Yes, I am a waitress. Any tips on finding a part-time job? Be friendly, offer your resume, and dress nicely. I've done that so many times. Sometimes companies don't need any employees. How did you get your job? Just send applications and hope someone calls. So is it based on luck? A little bit luck helps. Before this interview starts, any questions? Nope. I'm ready to go. Okay, great. Tell me about yourself. I'm 35 years old with a degree in teaching. Why do you want to become a teacher? I want to improve students' futures. What subject would you like to teach? I would love to teach science. I was a science teacher once. Interesting. What made you change jobs? Scientists don't really interact with kids. True. I'll call you back if I decide to hire you. Thanks. I hope to hear from you soon. What is your job? I'm a teacher. What grade do you teach? I teach ninth graders. Do you like your job? I hate it. What do you hate the most? I hate that they never listen to me. You can always punish them. I hit them. You what? I'm just kidding. I'm trying to find a job, and it's hard. I think it's because you have never worked before. You're right. Employers like to see someone with experience. That is unfortunate. I can't get a job if no one will give me a chance. Try to sell yourself. How am I going to do that? Talk about your talents. I can lick my nose. Not that kind of talent. I'm the captain of the basketball team. There you go. Try mentioning that. How was your first day of work? It was terrible. What happened? 
My coworkers bullied me. How did they bully you? They said I didn't deserve to be there. You're the most passionate veterinarian I know. I don't deserve this kind of treatment. Do you have any idea why they bullied you? It's because they're a lot older than me. You need to talk to your boss. Yeah, I will. It's finally lunchtime. I've been counting the minutes. How long is our lunch break? It's 30 minutes. That's it? I worked for five hours. I know. It's terrible. But what can we do? Can we protest? We would get fired. But we deserve a longer lunch break. I agree. I think we should have one hour. Let's start a petition rather than protest. A petition is a perfect idea. I have the worst job shift ever. No, I do. My shift is from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. My shift is from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. Okay, I was wrong. You have the worst shift. It's ruining my health. I have to change my sleeping schedule. I can never have dinner with my family anymore. Me too. My parents are mad at me. Mine too. They want me to quit. Let's quit together. Yeah, let's quit next week. I realize that I hate my job. What's wrong with it? I always have to treat customers like royalty. Even when the customer is wrong? At my job, the customer is always right. Tell me a bad experience you had. A customer dropped his drink on me once. And then what happened? He started getting mad at me. That is so unreasonable. Then my manager told me to apologize. You should quit. Hi, how are you doing today? I am fine. Just so you know, we have a huge sale today. Good to know. We also have dresses that just came in today. Can you please stop talking? I beg your pardon? I just want to shop, but you keep talking. I'm just doing my job. You're not very good at doing your job. It's my job to tell you about our sale. You're just really annoying. I got fired yesterday. You're lying. You're the best worker there. I really got fired. How is that possible? My co-worker said I was stealing from the company. Is that true? Of course not. I would never steal. Did you tell your manager that? I tried, but my co-worker put a necklace in my bag. She must really hate you. She's really jealous of me. She's jealous and mean. I'm thinking of moving to Texas. Why? You love California. I do, but there's a great teaching job in Texas. How much would you get? I would get $70,000 a year. How much do you make now? I earn $60,000 a year. I still don't think you should move. Really? Why not? All your friends and family are here. Are there any other reasons? I think you'll earn $70,000 if you're patient. I am a nurse. Why didn't you want to become a doctor? Doctors have to go to school longer. But they get more money. Nurses get a lot of money, too. Not really. Doctors have more prestige. Prestige and money doesn't matter to me. Good for you. Are you a doctor? I am going to be one in four years. A lot can change in four years. I know, but I believe in myself. I have overtime next week. What does that mean? It means I'm working more hours than usual. What are your usual hours? I usually work eight hours a day for five days. How about next week? I'm working another eight hours on Saturday. But Mom was planning a party on Saturday. I can't make it. Can't you tell your boss? That's not how the real world works. I wish the world was perfect. Hey, Mr. Smith, are you busy? Not at all. What's going on? I've been working with the company for 10 years. 
Yes, and I appreciate your dedication. I think I should get a raise for my dedication. Of course, but it must be reasonable. I think I should be paid $30 an hour. That's a little too much. I have a master's degree, and I'm a great worker. I know, but the economy is bad. How about $25 an hour? That can be considered. You are late to work again. I'm very sorry. How do you manage to make it late every day? I don't mean to be so late. You look very tired. I didn't get enough sleep. If you sleep earlier, earlier, you'll rise earlier. I can't sleep that early. Why? Are you a night owl? No, I'm just very busy with housework. Well, set your alarm and wake up on time. I won't be late again, I promise. Now that I have my first job, I need a bank account. What kind of bank account are you going to open? There are different types of bank accounts. You can open a checking account. That means I'll have checks to pay bills, right? Yes, and you'll get a debit card you can use too. That's different from a credit card, right? Yes, a debit card takes money directly from your bank account. So what is a savings account? That's a low-interest earning account meant for you to save money. So that's not for everyday spending? No, that's to save up for your retirement. I'd like to open a checking account. We would love to have you as our customer. What documents do you need from me? Do you have state-issued identification? Is my driver's license okay? That's perfect. I also need your social security number. Is there a minimum balance requirement? Our basic checking account has a $25 minimum balance per month. I can keep that in my account? I also need proof of address. Can I show you my gas bill? Yes. Now I need you to sign some papers. I would like to order some checks. Since you only have our basic checking account, it will cost you. I don't need that many checks. One box of checks is $15. Can I choose what my checks will look like? Yes, we have many different designs to choose from. I would like kittens on my checks. The kitten checks cost $18 per box. That is a small price to pay for cuteness. We can deduct that amount directly from your checking account. How long till I receive my checks? The checks take approximately two weeks to arrive. I'd like to deposit my paycheck. Do you have an account here? I have a checking account. You need to fill out a deposit slip. Where can I find those? There are deposit slips on the tables throughout the branch. What information do I put on the deposit slip? You need to put the name on the account, the account number, and the amount of the deposit. How long till I can access the money? You can access it immediately. Can I only take a deposit with the teller? No, you can also use an ATM or even your cell phone. I'd like to make a withdrawal. Will that be from your checking or savings account? I don't have a savings account. Then it will be from your checking account. I'd like to take out $200. Do you have a withdrawal form? Where can I get one of those? They are located right behind you on the table. What do I need to write on the form? You need to write the name on the account, the account number, and how much you want to take out. Is that all? I also need photo identification. What is this returned check fee on my statement? It means you bounced a check. What does that mean? It means you wrote a check, but you didn't have enough money in your account to cover it. So my landlord never got paid? No, and the bank charged you a fee. So what do I do now? Do you have enough money to pay your rent? I do, but I think I'm going to pay in cash. Your landlord may also charge you a fee for bouncing the check. I need to be more careful about my spending. Bouncing a check ends up costing you more money. I'd like to transfer some money. Between what two accounts would you like to transfer the money? 
I'd like to transfer $100 from my savings account to my checking account. All right. You just need to fill out this slip of paper. What information do I need to write down? You need to write both account numbers and how much you are transferring. Is the money available immediately? It is. Could you please show me identification? Is there a limit to how many transfers I can make? You can make up to 25 free transfers in a year. What happens if I want to make more? There is a fee for making more transfers. I would like to cash this check. Did you endorse the check? What does endorse mean? It means you need to sign the back of the check. I will do that right now. Can I have your account number and identification, please? Oh, I don't have an account here. Then there will be a $10 fee to cash the check. Do I have to pay that fee? An alternative would be to open an account here. I already have a checking account at another bank. Then you should cash your check there. I need to stop payment on a check that I wrote. Do you have a copy of the check you wrote? Yes, I was able to get a digital copy online. Why are you stopping payment on this check? I paid my landlord already. So you don't want him to get paid twice? I don't have the money to pay him twice. We can only stop payment if the check hasn't cashed already. Is there a fee to stop the payment? Yes, there is a $10 fee. That's better than paying my rent twice. I suppose it is. Why do I have a negative balance on my checking account? This means you used more money than you actually had in your account. So, what do I do now? The negative amount is how much you owe the bank. Am I going to be hit with an extra fee? The bank will charge you a $35 overdraft fee. How long do I have to pay the negative amount back? You should do it as soon as possible or else the bank can charge you more money. What happens if I don't pay it back? The bank can close your account and send the balance to collectors. That's not good for my credit. No, it's not. You better get it taken care of. I just got my first ATM card. That's great. Do you know how to use it? Actually, I could use some help. Let's go to our bank's ATM. Does it have to be my bank's ATM? It should be, or else you will get hit with fees. Once I put my card in, what do I do? You need to put your PIN number in. I wrote my PIN number down. It's in my wallet. To be safe, you should memorize it. Once I punch in my PIN number, what do I do? You need to choose what transaction you want to make. I'm sorry, but your card was declined. This is my ATM card, and I know I have money in my account. Maybe you have less money in the account than you thought. I just checked my balance this morning. Your account may have been frozen. Why would the bank do that? You should contact your bank. How else can I pay for these items? Do you have a credit card? I can write you a check. If it's from the same bank account as your ATM card, then I can't accept that check. I guess I can't go shopping today then. What fees does this bank charge? There are different fees depending on the kind of account you have with us. I have a basic checking account. There is no fee for a basic checking account unless you have less than the minimum balance. How much is the minimum balance? You need to have at least $25 in your account every day or else you will pay an $8 monthly fee. Are there overdraft charges? Yes. For each overdraft, there is a $35 fee. What about ATM fees? If you use one of our ATMs, there is no fee. What if I use another bank's ATM? Then you will be charged $2. I'd like to make a deposit. Will you be putting this deposit towards the fees you owe? What fees do I owe? You owe an overdraft fee of $35 a minimum balance fee of $8, and an ATM fee of $2. So much for free checking. Nothing in this life is free. Take what I owe from the amount that I just deposited. Will that be all? 
I want to close my bank account. I'm so sorry to hear that. Can I ask why? It's because of all the extra fees. Most banks charge fees. What's the minimum balance requirement to open a checking account? For our basic checking account, you need to maintain a $50 minimum. What other types of accounts are there? Our premium checking account requires a $100 minimum. What makes it premium? Your money will earn some interest if it's a premium checking account. What happens if I don't have the minimum balance? You will be charged $25 a month if you have a basic checking account. Does anyone offer free checking anymore? It's free if you maintain the minimum. I don't have a steady job right now. Maybe you should just keep your money under your mattress. I have a problem with the checking account I have at this bank. What seems to be the problem? I keep getting hit with fees, but I'm not getting my statements. Did you opt to get online statements? I did, but I haven't seen any in my inbox. Perhaps they are going to your spam folder. I didn't even think of that. We can't refund all of your fees, but I can refund this month's. That would be helpful. May I suggest you get regular paper statements? Since I'm not tech savvy, that's a good idea. Just confirm your mailing address for me. I want to contest some charges I see on my account. Do you think your account has been compromised? I think I am a victim of identity theft. What proof do you have? I did not buy anything in Miami last week. How can we be sure? I work here in New Jersey. We will open an investigation. How long will that take? The investigation can take up to six weeks. I need my money now, though. The charges you contest will be frozen. I'd like to open another account. That's great. What kind of account would you like to open? I already have a checking account here. So would you like to open a savings account? Will I earn interest on a savings account? As long as you make regular deposits and do not make withdrawals. What is an interest rate? You will earn 1% interest per month. Can I transfer money from my checking account? Of course you can. We can even set it up so it happens automatically. Are there any fees? There is a one-time $10 service fee. I want to close my account. We're sorry to lose you as a customer. Can I ask why? I keep getting hit by fees. We have a new low fee checking account. I was already on the basic checking plan and you guys still charged me a ton of fees. Have you registered for online banking? Yeah, and I never got my statements. Have you tried our mobile app with text alerts? My phone isn't compatible. Just close the account. You have $425 in the account. Pay it to me in cash. We hope you will try banking with us again. Don't ride your bike unless you're wearing a helmet. I don't like helmets. They mess up my hair. It's better to mess up your hair than to mess up your head. I won't fall. I'm a good bike rider. Accidents happen very easily. I've never fallen before. There's a first time for everything. I'll be very careful. If it wasn't so dangerous, there wouldn't be a helmet law. What is the helmet law? Children have to wear helmets until they're 18. I suppose wearing a helmet won't be too bad then. Did you fasten your seatbelt? It bothers my neck. Just adjust the strap so it doesn't bother you. The sun makes it too hot. Stop making excuses and put it on. I don't like wearing it. Most of the people who die in car accidents don't wear them. I trust you not to crash the car. I don't trust the other drivers not to crash into me. That'll be fine. If you don't wear it, I won't drive you anywhere. Fine, I'll put it on. I don't like walking in the dark. The city is so creepy at night. I always feel like anyone can pop out of somewhere. I'm afraid of bugs. They're probably all around. Maybe it's a good idea to carry a flashlight. I have one in my backpack. 
I feel so much better with the light on. Now we can see where we are going. It's easier to keep us from getting lost, too. I'm still afraid of bugs, though. I think they'll stay away from the light. I'm putting a flashlight in my backpack, too. My dad bought me a can of pepper spray. Isn't that what police use on bad guys? Yes, it's supposed to sting your eyes. Why did you get such a thing? I feel safer walking at night with it. Aren't you afraid you'll use it wrong? No, it's pretty easy to spray. What if it gets into your eyes, not a bad guy? Well, it's important to never spray against the wind. Oh, I see. Then it won't spray into your face? Exactly. It's a pretty handy tool. I feel a lot safer carrying it, too. Are you taking karate classes? Yes, I started last week. That's so cool. It's a lot of hard work. Are you training to be like Bruce Lee? No, I'm just learning some self-defense. Oh, you mean like blocking hits and stuff? Yes, I want to be able to defend myself. That's pretty impressive. I've learned a few skills already. Remind me to never mess with you. Don't worry. I'd only use my skills when necessary. Be careful how you peel those potatoes. What's so hard about peeling potatoes? You're holding the knife wrong. What do you mean? When you pull the knife towards you, it's easy to cut yourself. How should I peel them, then? Face the blade away from you. This feels a lot easier. It's harder to cut yourself. Could I have gotten very hurt? Well, it would have hurt quite a bit. I won't be so careless next time. I saw a scary article online today. What was it about? It was about people sleeping with their cell phones. I do that sometimes. Why do you want to do that? It's easier to hear the alarm that way. Make sure your phone doesn't overheat. What do you mean? In the article, the phones heated up and exploded. What happened to the owners? They got hurt sometimes. You should be more careful. I will. I'll leave it on the night table from now on. Don't be too distracted at the ATM. I was just checking a text message. People could see your account information. I don't think that can happen. If they're watching, they can also learn your PIN number. I suppose you're right about that. Just be attentive for a few minutes. I'd rather miss a text than have money stolen from me. Exactly. Make sure you finish the transaction first. Thanks for all the advice. No problem. You're a really good friend. Don't read that text message now. Why not? We're in the middle of traffic. It doesn't matter, but it is against the law. No one will see me do it. If you get used to it, you may casually check it later. I'm sure nothing will happen if I do that. One day, you may check it at the wrong time. Stop saying things like that. I'm just trying to make you see the danger in it. What should I do then? It's an important message. Give me your phone and I'll read it to you. They should make a car app to read your text messages. I don't like seeing so many police officers patrolling. They're just trying to keep the city safe. I think they just like giving people tickets. People should just learn to follow the rules. People make mistakes sometimes. The cops don't always give people tickets. They usually do. I think it makes them happy. Not all police officers are mean, though. We could go on arguing about this all day. Then maybe it would just be best to agree with me. I just believe police officers could be nicer. That's true. The whole world should be a little nicer. Why is there a sticker over your webcam lens? I don't trust the computer company. Do you think it's spying on you? There have been reports of people being spied through webcams. That's actually pretty creepy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Is it always the company that is accused of spying? No, sometimes it's malware you get from emails. That's even scarier. 
You never know who can be watching. Ever since I found out, I put a sticker on my webcam. It really is a good idea. I'll do it too. Besides, I think it looks pretty cute too. I forgot my house key. How are we supposed to get into the house? I hit a spare key in case this happens. Let me guess. It's under the mat. How did you know? It's the most obvious hiding place. I didn't know where else to put it. There's a lock that allows you to hide keys in it. Wow, really? That sounds like a good invention. My teacher has one for his room key. Of course, the best solution would be not to forget the key. Definitely. Be more careful next time. I heard that there was a stabbing the other day. What? Where? In a public bus. That's scary. Yes, it is. I'm glad I don't take the bus often. What time did it happen? It happened in the evening. People should avoid going out late at night. Yes, that's when the most crime takes place. Either way, I think I'll be driving home after evening classes. It does feel a lot safer than riding the bus. Definitely, I can drive you home too. I got my email hacked the other day. That's terrible. How did that happen? I opened an account on a website and used the same password. That wasn't very wise. I know it won't happen again. I'm always afraid to forget all my passwords, though. You should make them very similar to each other. I guess that would be a good solution. It's hard to have any privacy in today's world. That's for sure. We have to protect it. I'll make sure this never happens again. I hope you get your email fixed. Did you hear about the dog ban? No. What dog are they banning? The city wants to ban pit bulls. What? Why do they want to do that? They say pit bulls are dangerous. Pit bulls are only trained to be that way. How should they fix the attack problem then? I think there should be a background check for dog adoption. How would they fix anything? If good people adopt them, the dogs will be good. Many still feel like they're in danger around pit bulls. I feel more endangered being around people than pit bulls. You can't take pool toys into the ocean. Why not? I want to drift in the water. They're dangerous. How is it dangerous just to float there? The waves could flip you over. I know how to swim. If the tide is strong, it could pull you out to sea. That sounds scary. It is. It'll be difficult to pull you back. I understand. I'll leave the pool toys in my car. That's a good idea. Thank you for the explanation. Why are you bringing a map? I don't want to get lost on our hike. We won't. I have a GPS. There's not always signal in the mountains. Maps aren't accurate as GPS. We don't always have to use the map. Why bring it then? Like I said, it's just a safety tool. I think it's just more of weight in our backpack. Better safe than sorry. I can't argue with that. Let's go in. Lead the way. I want to buy myself a taser. Why would you want something like that? I live alone, so I want to feel safer. Aren't tasers dangerous? Only for the person I shock. I'm afraid of being electrocuted. They don't electrocute you. They just shock you. I hate the fact that the world is so dangerous. It may not be, but I won't take any chances. I've also seen self-defense keychains. Those are good to have too. Just as long as you know how to use them. Take off your shoes and walk in the sand. I'd rather not. I bought swim shoes. That's no fun. They're fine, and I can still get them wet. Why are you so paranoid? I read that you can get bad cuts on the beach. How can you get sand cut? It's not the sand; it's what people leave in it. You mean the, like trash? Yes, and even broken bottles. I guess swim shoes are a good idea. Yes, you never know what could hurt you. That child just darted across the street. His mother should have been holding his hand. 
Parents should be more attentive of their children. Have you seen those child leashes? I always thought they were silly. Me too, but I can see why parents use them. I guess they are a good idea, aren't they? They definitely do the job and keep your kids safe. In the end, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how silly they look, after all. Better to be safe than sorry. You can say that again. I really like your shoes. Thank you. Where did you buy them? I bought them at a store in the mall. Were they very expensive? They were around $40. They look very comfortable. They are extremely comfortable. Do they come in many other colors? I saw several different ones when I bought them. Maybe I'll buy myself a pair. They are definitely worth the money. Are you interested in buying this bike? That thing? I don't think so. I assure you, it is a wonderful sale. It looks rusted. That can be fixed with a light coat of paint. The chain looks old. Just oil it a little and it will be good as new. The seat is uncomfortable. All great bikes have high seats like this. Well, how much are you asking for it? For this fantastic find, only $140. No way. If it is so valuable, sell it to the museum. Excuse me, I'd like your opinion on something. Of course, sir. How may I help you? I want to buy my wife a new scarf. That is very thoughtful of you. Her favorite color is blue, so I chose blue scarves. What do you need me to do? Well, I was wondering which scarf was the prettiest. I see. Well, this one seems a little too dark. What about this one? Maybe something with a nicer pattern. Is this one all right? That one is perfect. I'm sure she'll love it. Where are you going? I'm going to buy some flowers for Valentine's Day. Who are the flowers for? My mom, my sister, and my girlfriend. Wow, you are very thoughtful. I don't really know which flowers to buy, though. Well, for your girlfriend, something romantic. Red roses, of course. For your mother, something that smells nice. Carnations. She loves carnations. And for your sister? I'll buy her some pink roses. Thanks for your help. Excuse me, miss. Yes. Can I ask for your opinion on something? Sure. What can I help you with? Do you think I would look better in the blue or the red dress? I don't think either one is good on you. Then what should I do? I think you should try on the yellow dress. But I hate the color yellow. Then maybe the purple dress would look nice too. I don't like purple either. Then I don't know how to help you. Okay, thanks for your opinion anyway. I'm thinking of buying a bicycle. That sounds like a good idea. Yes, it would help me beat the car traffic. It would also save you a lot on gas money. I'm kind of scared, though. Scared of what? I don't want to fall. As long as you practice, you should be fine. Yes, but I could also get hit by a car. I think you will be okay. Just make sure to buy a helmet, too. I love your blue bag. Thank you. I just bought it. It looks very expensive. It really wasn't. I bought it used online. It looks brand new. I know, and I saved $200. Wow, I wonder why they didn't want it anymore. I don't care. As long as it was cheap, I'll take it. Do you think I could find one online too? You probably could. They have everything online nowadays. That's true. I'm going to go look now. Good luck. I want to buy this, but $40 is too expensive. It is a high quality item and worth every penny. It looks a little bit dirty. It is just dusty from being on the shelf. If no one has bought it, it can't be so valuable. It is my last one because I am almost sold out. 
I'll buy it if you cut the price in half. That is too cheap. I'll make no money. This product is cheap quality. I'll lose money. I'll give it to you for $35. Make it $30 and you've got a deal. All right, $30 sounds fine. Can you help me? Maybe I can. I need this dress in a size 8. If it's not on the rack, we don't have it. Can you just check for me? We don't have that dress in a size 8. But you didn't even check. Look, I'm really tired. I think you mean lazy. Can you ask another employee? I want to talk to your manager. No, I'll go find the dress. Does this hat match my suit? Well, it's the same color. That's good enough for me. Are you going to a dinner party? No, I'm going to a job interview. Then maybe you should wear a tie. That's a good idea. Also, I would not wear the hat if I were you. Why not? It matches well. You look like a mobster from the movies. Don't hats make you look more professional? Only if you're applying to be a hitman. I want to buy my son a skateboard. Do you know what kind of board he'd like? I was thinking a basic board. There are many different kinds. Is there one that is safer than the others? Not really. You should buy safety equipment. What should I buy? A helmet, some elbow pads, and some knee pads. Can I also have some wrist guards? Certainly. You may choose any color you'd like. I came for a skateboard and left with the whole store. Well, safety always comes first. Have you gone to vote today? I didn't even know there was an election. Didn't you get that pamphlet? I must have forgotten about it. Here, you can read mine. Why is it so important to vote anyway? It's the only way to make our voices heard. Our opinions won't make much of a difference. The most popular opinion will. I guess if I vote, my opinion will be a little more popular. That's the spirit. Let's go vote now before the lines get too long. Are you a Democrat or a Republican? I am a Republican, of course. Republicans are conceited and judgmental. Your liberal stubbornness tells me you're a Democrat. Don't insult me. There's a reason the Democrats' mascot is a donkey. At least we're not unforgiving elephants. I don't agree with any of the Democratic outlooks. I don't believe in any Republican beliefs either. What should we do then? Let's not talk politics, or we'll be like those terrible politicians. I guess, regardless of viewpoints, politicians are all bad. Have you voted for the class representative? No, I'm not sure who to choose. The first candidate says he will save the school money. The second says he will arrange more school trips. It sounds like one saves, one spends. They both have similar policies on tardiness. They also talk about caring for the student body. I heard the first candidate got detention once, though. What did he get detention for? He didn't turn in his assignments. I don't want such a careless representative. Me either. Oh, I messed it. I can't believe Obama won before Hillary. You can't believe an African American beat a woman? You are being very stereotypical. I'm just trying to prove a point. What point would that be? America is still racist and sexist. It does seem like the election was eventually based on those aspects. Why did you want Hillary to win? I have always liked her political standing. I think they'd both make good presidents. I guess we'll see how Obama does. 
I just hope stereotypes aren't so pronounced now, too. My household is registered as Republican. Why is that so upsetting? I really want to vote for Obama. You're allowed to vote for him, even if you're a Republican. Really? I didn't know that. Of course. You're not restricted from anything. Can I also vote for Republican state representatives? Yes, that's okay too. I prefer a world not based on what party you're in. Me too. It makes things seem a lot more equal. I'm going to fill out my sample ballot now. All right, I will too. My university is passing out flyers for health insurance. Mine too. If I don't choose, I'll get Obamacare. What's Obamacare? It's the new health care provided by Affordable Health Care Act. What does it promise? It regulates health insurance so it's affordable for everyone. That sounds like a great step forward. I think Obama is really keeping his promise. I wish there were more changes to the education system. Most of the acts passed were to help immigrant students. It's a shame they fight so hard for underfunded education. It's a bit of a letdown for everybody. They're really trying hard to get teenagers to vote. I love the commercials on television about it. You mean the ones with the famous TV stars? Yes, and the singers too. They're all done by the Rock the Boat organization. It's a really good marketing idea. It makes me want to vote. And it's good to show how important voting really is. They should make those commercials for policies, too. They'd be better than those misleading commercials. I agree. It seems like all those commercials tell lies. Maybe I'll volunteer with Rock the Vote someday. Did you hear about the ID enforcement? No, what's that? It's a law requiring voters to show ID before voting. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. There are many voters who cannot afford an ID, though. I didn't think about that. If IDs are required, even less people will show up to vote. That completely goes against what they're trying to accomplish. Besides, many voters don't even have a birth certificate. That's another big problem. I'm completely against this voting requirement. Me too. All it will do is keep people from voting. They should increase the voting age to 21. Why do you think they should do that? Well, people can't drink until they're 21. That's so they'll have time to make the right decision. They can't decide what's best for them until they're 21. I suppose you have a point. Voting is something very important. People should think hard and make the right decision. I hope the teenagers are old enough to do that. Maybe your idea is a good one. Then again, lots of adults don't vote either. I guess it always depends on the individual. I hate proxy voting. What's proxy voting? It's when a vote can be made for you by a committee. That sounds unfair. I think if someone is unable to vote, no one should vote for them. Is this done for civilians? No, usually for members of a committee. I still think it's unfair. Me too. The rule should not exist. Soon they'll be applying it to us too. I hope that never happens. Were you invited to Mary's party this weekend? Yes, I was. Why do you ask? I was wondering if you could give me a ride. Where do you live? I live one block away from the school. Okay, that's not too far. By what time should I be ready? Well, when does the party start? The invitation says 5 p.m. I'll pick you up at 4.15. Parties always start a little late. Thank you. I'll buy you a coffee to make up for it. That sounds great. Let's go. Doesn't that new Godzilla movie look good? The effects are much better than in the old movies. The storyline sounds interesting, too. Do you want to go watch it now? All right. I'll check the showtimes.
When is the closest show time? There's one showing in 15 minutes and another in an hour. The theater is more than 15 minutes away. Let's go to the one in an hour then. We'll still have time before it starts. That's okay. We can have lunch while we wait. We'd better get going if we're going to make it on time. I feel so sleepy this morning. Why are you so tired? It's not like you. I was working late last night and didn't get much sleep. Maybe you should drink some coffee. I hear coffee stunts your growth. That's only if you drink it when you're young. Coffee also stains your teeth brown. Just rinse your mouth when you're finished drinking it. It's too hot to drink coffee anyways. There are also iced coffee drinks you can try. I guess an iced coffee does sound pretty good. It's my treat. Maybe once you have some, you'll be more interesting to talk to. What are you wearing to the banquet tomorrow? I'm not sure yet. What about you? I saw a dress I liked, but it was very expensive. Maybe you can get a job to raise the money. I don't think I'll make enough money to buy it on time. Women's clothing is so expensive. Tell me about it. Men's suits can be expensive too. Maybe I can rent a nice dress. That's a great idea. Where can you do that? I'll just find a store online, then go pick up the clothes. Give me the website so I can rent my dress too. How are you enjoying the party? Well, the food is good. You don't sound very excited. The party isn't very exciting. It's only as exciting as you make it. There's really nothing to do here. The music will start in a while. I don't really know how to dance. That's fine. The important thing is to have fun. I look like a headless chicken when I dance. Well, I look like a monkey, but I still dance. Then I won't feel so bad if we dance together. Excuse me, have you been to this house before? Yes, I have. Why do you ask? I had a question, but I couldn't find the host. What do you need to know? I'm looking for the bathroom. Oh, it's in the hallway. Which hallway? Just walk straight and you will see a door. I thought that was just a closet. No, it's the bathroom. Thank you for telling me. I wouldn't have found it. It's no problem. Is that the costume you made for the expo? Yes, it is. I can't wait to wear it. How long did it take you to make it? I spent several weeks on it. It looks amazing. Thank you. I plan to enter it in the contest. I'm sure you will win a prize. I hope so. I want to get some of my money back. Was it very expensive to make? Yes, but the quality makes it worth it. I definitely agree with you. Thank you. Wish me luck in the contest. I am really looking forward to David's party. Me too. I've been excited all week. Is there anything you're looking forward to? I love dancing, so I can't wait to dance. What kind of dancing do you do? All different kinds, but mostly hip-hop. Isn't that a difficult dance? Not at all. I'll teach you if you'd like. I'd love that. Thank you. I'm sure you will do fine. Just don't make fun of me if I trip and fall. Of course not. It's mostly for fun. Let's go to the mall. What for? I would like to buy a new sweater. Didn't you just buy one last week? Yes, but it was too small. It looked fine to me. Maybe to you, but I felt like a sausage while wearing it. Are you going to exchange it? No, I gave it to my sister. Will you buy the same one? Of course not. Okay, let's go find you a sweater. Do you know John's address? No, I don't. Why do you need it? I want to invite his son to my daughter's party. Wow, how old will she be? 
She'll be four next week. Children grow like weeds. Yes, they do. His son is almost five now. Why doesn't she give it to him at school? I'm afraid one of them will lose it. Send John a message and ask him his address. I guess I will have to. Either way, I'm sure they will come to the party. How are you enjoying your evening? I am enjoying it very much, thank you. How did you come to meet the host? We work for the same company. What is your line of work? We deal with private investments. That sounds like such an important job. That makes it stressful at times. How do you deal with the stress? It's easier when you have good friends around. I agree wholeheartedly. After all, friendship makes the world go round. I've never been to an amusement park. Amusement parks are fun. What is there to do there? There are lots of games to play and rides to enjoy. Is it expensive to go to one? It depends on how much you spend during the day. What about admission? Admission prices depend on the park. I would like to go to one. Just make sure you don't eat before riding the rides. Why not? Just trust me, it will ruin your day. The prices on fruit have really gone up this year. Yes, they have. It's ridiculous. The fruit is not good quality either. You're right. These apples are bruised. These bananas are too green to be eaten. Fifty cents each is too expensive for bad bananas. The quality of life is going down in general. I blame it on the economy. The state of the economy has been terrible. I hope products are better quality soon. It's like they say, cheap things are often more expensive. I totally agree with you. That is a beautiful dress you're wearing. Thank you. It was a gift from my husband. He has excellent taste. It's because he knows exactly what I like. I wish my husband had your husband's taste in fashion. Doesn't he know what you like? Hardly. He bought me an ugly sweater for Christmas. Did you return it? No. I entered it in the gift exchange at work. What did you get in return? A department store gift card. Just make sure you use it for shopping and not for your husband. I went to an interesting rave last night. What was so interesting about it? It was called a silent rave. How can you have a rave without music? Everyone wears headphones and dances to the music. That doesn't sound very fun. It is very convenient. How can it be convenient? To talk to someone, you just take off the earphones. Wow, that does sound convenient. Best of all, I got a cute girl's phone number. Now I see why you liked the rave so much. You're new in town, right? Yes, I just moved in last week. Do you want to come to see a movie tonight? Who else is coming? Just a few of my friends. I'm not sure. I don't know anyone yet. No, but I think you will get along. I hope so. I'm shy around strangers. Just be confident. You'll make a lot of new friends here. I'll try that. Thank you for the invitation. No problem. We'll pick you up at 8. Do you have any online accounts? What is an online account? Something you use on social networks. I don't know what those are. Websites where you talk about yourself. Why would I want to do that? So you can make friends. I already have friends. You can make more friends. But I don't need more friends. Forget I mentioned anything. You're still my friend, right? You should add me on Facebook. I don't have a Facebook. Why don't you make one? I don't have money. Facebook is free to join. What do I have to do? Go to the website and sign up. It says I need an email address. Don't you have one? I don't remember the password. Don't you ever email friends? 
I like texting better. Why are you taking pictures of yourself? I need a profile picture. Just use any picture. I need it to be perfect. Have you added any new friends? I added our classmates. The girls too? A few of the girls. A good picture won't get you a girlfriend. Maybe they will think I am handsome. Why would they think that? Girls like a guy with a nice smile. Why does Facebook need my birth date? So people can know how old you are. But my friends know how old I am. People who are not your friends. I don't want them to see my age. What's wrong with it? It's better if I seem older. Why is it better? Then I will seem more mature. But you post about cartoons a lot. Adults can watch cartoons. Those adults should get a job. The cute girl from class added me on Facebook. Has she sent you any messages? Not yet. I'm still waiting. What makes you think she will? We have a lot in common. How do you know? We posted about the same TV show. Why don't you send her a message first? I am afraid she will reject me. Just try to be friends for now. I can't message her if you're here. Fine, then I won't help you. I saw the pictures of your date yesterday. It wasn't a date. Didn't you go to the movies? Yes, I went to the movies together. Then it was a date. The girl was my cousin. I see. That was my mistake. You should not assume things. So Facebook dating did not go well? I don't just use Facebook for dating. What else could it be for? I play games sometimes, too. I met someone online yesterday. Who is it? A boy from Budapest. Where is Budapest? I asked him that question, too. What did he say? He said it is in Hungary. Is that very far away? Thousands of miles away. How can you be friends, then? I just like talking to him. Maybe he'll teach you Hungarian. Why did you fall asleep in class today? I stayed up late playing Farmville. What is that? A game on Facebook. You play too many games. You should play with me sometime. No way. I don't want to. Why don't you? I don't want to be a zombie. What's a zombie? What you'll become if you play too many games. I guess I should play less often. Are you ready to go home? I can't go home yet. Why? Do you have club activities? No, I have detention. Why did you have detention? Because I did not turn in the homework. Weren't you home sick yesterday? Yes, I was very sick. Then the teacher should understand. He saw pictures of my party on Facebook. If you're not sick, you shouldn't stay home. I think I'll just unfriend him. You were a cute child. How would you know? Your mom posted your baby pictures on Facebook. When did she do that? Last week. Didn't you see them? No, my laptop is in the shop. Most of our classmates have seen them. This is too embarrassing. It is not that bad. I'm going to make her delete them. I should mention there are videos, too. My reputation is ruined. I was fired from my part-time job. Why did you get fired? My boss said I was too irresponsible. Didn't you do good work for him? I missed a few days of work. Why is that a problem? I went to the arcade and he found out. Did you post pictures on Facebook again? Yes, but I didn't know he'd see them. Everyone can see your Facebook. I'll be more careful next time. Just don't do bad things at all. I'm deleting my Facebook. I thought that you liked Facebook. I do, but it's inconvenient. Are the games not fun anymore? 
That's not it. Did you get bored of reading posts? No, I still like them. Did you lose interest in your friends? Of course not. Then what's the problem? It's too easy to be stalked. Don't worry, only attractive people are stalked. I found a new social networking site. That's cool. What's it called? It's called Tumblr. It's a blog site. It's blogging different from Facebook? It is very different and much more fun. Why is it more fun? You get to see more people's posts. What kind of posts? Many different kinds based on your interests. It sounds fun. Is it free? Yes, it's free. All right, I'll join. Just don't follow my blog. I am following my favorite artist on Tumblr. Why are you following their blogs? I'm hoping they will see my drawings. What would that do? I heard that some artists find jobs this way. You mean the artist hires them? Sometimes, if their art is good. That sounds amazing. Tumblr is very good for getting noticed. I want to be a singer. Maybe you can post some songs on Tumblr. I don't think Lady Gaga will notice me. Do you know about phone applications? Not much. Are you looking for one? I want to download the Tumblr app. If you do, you'll never do any homework. Why do you think that? You'd waste time on your phone all day. Don't you think I am responsible? I know you're not responsible. Why would you say that? Because you never turn things in on time. Maybe I'll enroll on online classes. They won't be anything like Tumblr. There are so many bus stops. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. How do I know which stop to wait at? It's written on the bus schedule. Where can I find the bus schedule? You can look it up online. Everything is online nowadays. Yes, it makes things convenient. What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? You can check the destination on each bus. What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? Ask a bus driver for help. There are so many buses going to Montebello. There are many places in Montebello. How do I know which bus to take? First, choose where you want to go in Montebello. All right. Then what's next? Read the list of Montebello buses going to that stop. There are three. How do I choose one? They are all going to the same place? Yes, it looks like they are. Then choose the bus based on the timetable. This is the bus that gets me there the soonest. You'd better get moving. It'll be here soon. I just missed my bus. Oh no. What are you going to do? I don't know. The next one comes in 10 minutes. You won't make it to work on time. What should I do? Ask the next bus driver for help. How can he possibly help me? He could tell you which bus to ride. Do you think it's all right to ride a different bus? Sure, as long as you get to work on time. I just hope I won't get lost. You won't. Besides, it's good not to sit idly by. Where do I buy my bus ticket? You buy it in the bus. Isn't there a station? Yes, but that's not where you buy tickets. Does the bus driver give me my ticket? The bus driver has a machine that does. Do I buy a new ticket every time I ride the bus? Yes, but if you plan to ride several buses, buy a day pass. Why should I buy a day pass? It would be cheaper than buying several tickets. So I just wait for the bus to get here? Yes, and make sure you have change. Why didn't you buy a bus ticket? I have a tap card. What is a tap card? It stores money for me to use when I ride the bus. Is it like a credit card? It works exactly like a credit card. How did the bus driver know you had one? I tapped it on his ticket console. I see. That is much faster. Yes, and much more convenient. Maybe I'll get myself a tap card. You should. You'd save time and money. 
Take out your student ID card. Why do I need it? If you show it to the driver, your ticket costs less. That is very helpful to students. Yes, saving every little bit counts. He charged me a whole dollar less. Yes, bus drivers are nice to students. I wish I'd known it to it sooner. Me too. We would have saved some money. Does it work for college students too? I think so, as long as you show a school ID. I'd better tell my big brother too. There are so many bus lines here. Yes, there are. I still get confused sometimes. How do you know which buses to get on? I check the schedules at each bus stop. That is so convenient. Yes, it is. It helps to keep me from getting lost. So many bus lines can be confusing. The buses pass by very frequently. How often do they pass by? Maybe once every 10 to 15 minutes. I feel like I'll never get stranded here. Definitely not. Just make sure you have a ticket. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? I can't find the Muni bus I'm looking for. Well, the letters flash on the sign as they arrive. That's the problem. I don't see the 8X Muni. Oh, there's been a misunderstanding. What do you mean? The line you're looking for is actually a bus line. Oh, where can I take it? Just go out to the stop on the street. It's a little confusing to have a Muni bus and a Muni train. Just remember, if it has a number, it's a Muni bus. At what time does the Montebello bus leave? It leaves every 10 minutes. Do you know when the next one is coming? Well, you actually just missed it. You mean I have to wait 10 whole minutes? Unfortunately, sometimes though, it's a little faster. I wonder if I'll still have enough time for shopping. You only have a few minutes to buy something. I'm in a bit of a hurry. You should try a different bus routes. Is it easy to navigate bus routes? Very easy. Here's a map for you to read. What bus do we need to take? We need to take the Metro. The Metro bus stop isn't here. No, I meant the Metro Gold Line. I've never ridden that bus line before. It's not a bus. It's a Metrolink train. Why do we need to take the train? It'll take us to Pasadena faster. How will it do that? Trains have fewer stops and never get stuck in traffic. That sounds very convenient. It is. Hurry and buy your tap card. I'm so tired. Me too. That's the longest flight I've ever ridden. Where's our hotel? I have the address right here. It's not too far. We can take the bus. Actually, we can't. Why we can't? The bus will not allow us to carry luggage. That's so inconvenient. It's because it'll take up space on the bus. How do we get back to the hotel then? I guess we'll have to call a taxi. Excuse me, I need a ticket. You owe me a dollar. I already put one in. Yes, and you owe me another. The counter says fare is one dollar. The fare counter tells how much money you've inserted. I don't understand. It reads one dollar because you put a dollar in. How do I know I've paid the fare? The counter will go back to zero. Oh, I see what you mean. Now that you've paid your two dollars, here's your ticket. I like a window seat. Why are you always so excited about sitting there? I like being able to look outside. You walk along the streets all the time. That's true, but this way it's like a movie. What do you mean it's like a movie? I like watching the people walking by. All people walk the same way, you know. Perhaps, but not all people live the same way. What does this have to do with a window seat? I just like looking out at the world. Suppose the world is rather peaceful. We only have to ride for one stop. Yeah, then we have a bus transfer. Let's sit here by the door. I don't think we should sit there. Why don't you want to sit there? Those seats are reserved for the handicapped and elderly. Are all the seats next to the exits reserved? 
I think they are. They have signs beside them. All the seats close to those are taken. Just choose any seat. Oh, look, we're there already. I suppose standing wasn't so bad anyway. This bus is amazing. It's so big. The seats are comfortable too. I didn't know they have outlets and Wi Fi. These buses are as comfortable as possible. Let's look for a seat with an outlet. Look, there's one there. It looks like it's already taken. I guess we have to be faster next time. I found one. Sit down quickly. We're all set for our trip now. The man getting on the bus is in a wheelchair. The driver has to adjust the seats. What will he do for them? He'll move them out of the way. They look difficult to move. Maybe we should help him. What do I do? Just release the lever under the seat. Now what do I do? Let's push the seats out of the way. The driver and the man are so grateful. We should always try to help others. Hi. Sorry I took so long to meet you. That's all right. We have plenty of time. Who is that girl sleeping on your shoulder? She's just someone else riding the bus. You mean you don't know her? No, she boarded after I did and fell asleep. Don't you mind her leaning on your shoulder? No, I don't. She must be exhausted. What if she misses her stop? I heard her say she's going to Main Street. Hey, that's our stop too. Yeah, so just let her sleep. It'll be fine. Hey, you need to wake up now. Where am I? You're at the last stop on the route. What? How did we get so far? You fell asleep and didn't request a stop. I was supposed to get off three stops ago. I didn't know. All I do is drive the bus. How can I get back from here? A bus going back will arrive soon. That's good. I'd hate to be stranded. Make sure you don't fall asleep this time. Trust me, I'll never fall asleep again. You should put away those chips. Why? I'm hungry. You'll leave crumbs everywhere. Someone will pick them up. Probably roaches and vermin. There are no roaches on the bus. That's only because people work to keep things clean. You're exaggerating. There are signs saying no food on the bus. No one takes those signs seriously. Imagine if everyone left crumbs and trash on the bus. I guess I should not make a mess at least. That child just won't stop crying. It's been crying for the last three stops. The mother has tried feeding it already. I guess she can't change the diaper on the bus. I read once that babies' ears hurt on the bus. Why do their ears hurt? It's because of the air pressure in the bus. Is it like when your ears hurt on a plane? Well, my ears hurt too. I don't think that's because of air pressure. I can't stand it anymore. Let's get off now. All right, that screeching is getting to me too. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, likewise. Are you taking the bus downtown? Yes, I am. I'm doing some shopping. Oh, so am I. Prices are so much better there. Yes, they are. The weather is very nice today, at least. I'm glad for that. It's nice for walking about. Heat waves are so unfortunate. They drain my energy. I know what you mean. Would you like to join me while shopping today? I just remembered. I have to get off at the next stop. Oh no, I lost my ticket. Was it an all day pass? Yes, I just bought it. What are you going to do? Well, I guess all I need to do is get home. It takes three transfers to get to your house. Maybe I'll just hop the bus. No way! You have to buy another ticket. It's not a big deal. No one will notice. You'd better not. You could get in trouble. I feel like I'm wasting my money. A $2 ticket is better than a $150 ticket fine. My tap card isn't working. Why not? Try it again. It's still not accepting the fare. Is the magnetic strip broken? 
No, I just used it at the station. Did it run out of credit? No, I just refilled it yesterday. Did you tap it upside down? I tried flipping it several times. Look, you're using a Metro card. What's the problem with that? This is the Montebello bus line. Plane tickets are so expensive. I can't afford to fly to San Francisco. Well, we can always go by bus. There's a bus that drives to San Francisco? There are buses that drive to any nearby state. That sounds perfect. How much is the fare? Usually one-fifth of what a plane ticket costs. How do we buy tickets? If we buy them online, they're even cheaper. What bus line do I search? Greyhound buses are the most popular. I'm so glad we'll have a trip after all. This line is so long. We've been waiting for almost an hour. I guess they do really check thorough. What are they checking for? They need to make sure no one is carrying any weapons. I'm glad they check thoroughly for that. They also have to make sure no one has drugs. Wow, I guess that's why the police dogs are here. Look, there are only three people ahead. After that, can we board the bus? Yes, we're almost there. Good. I'm tired of standing in line.